Good morning, students. I, uh, I welcome you to this session of final paper six, Integrated Business Solutions. I am CA Priya Subramanian, and with me is CA Rajiv Sachdevaji, uh, who is uh, handling the subject of Integrated Business Solutions. He is also the auditing faculty in the Board of Studies for many years. So uh, as regards, this paper has been introduced as a compulsory paper in the new scheme of education and training, where in this particular paper, you will be required to integrate the knowledge which you have acquired in papers one to five at the final level, as well as set A and set B. All these you have, you will be studying as independent subjects also. And in this paper, what we expect you to do is to uh, integrate the knowledge, whatever you've acquired in that, and solve it. You will, what you will get in the exam is in the form of case studies. In that case studies, it will uh, involve application of more than one subject. And how, how you will go about solving those case studies is what we will be dealing in this particular paper. As regards the pattern of uh, uh, exam in this particular paper, I hope there are many uh, people watching this. Pray, good morning, Prerna, Shankara, Pradeep, Kochar. So our class, uh, class is started. I hope you're all able to view it. Mansha, Viraj Desai, good morning to all of you. Mr. Lakshman Kumar, Ashish Rajwani, everyone. So uh, actually here, the paper pattern will be similar to the paper pattern of elective papers, and which also included a multidisciplinary case study in the old scheme of education and training. It is similar to that. You will have five case studies, out of which you'll be required to attempt any four. And each case study will be for 25 marks, out of which 10 marks will be your MCQs, five MCQs of two marks each, and the remaining 15 marks is descriptive questions. So in this case, the 40% weightage for MCQs and 60% weightage for descriptive questions. And it will be a paper of four hour duration. An announcement in this regard was web hosted yesterday. It is available in the BOS announcements. You can view that also. So uh, as I told you, it is 40 marks is, uh, of this paper is MCQ based. So which will enable you to score well in this paper. Also, the paper is open book, which means you can take any uh, written material. Of course, you cannot take tablets or uh, any electronic devices that you won't be permitted to take, but any sort of written materials, study materials, and all that you can take it to the uh, examination. What we expect you to do is whatever understanding you have, since it's an open book examination, there is no need to wrote learn. At the same time, we understand that you have to identify what is the material which you'll have to take to the examination hall. See, suppose you are strong in direct, indirect taxes and all. Then you can take the study material relating to uh, advanced financial management uh, or the uh, advanced auditing material to this thing. And for DT, IDT, you can take the Saranj. Saranj will now come, is a uh, uh, revisionary material which will come out, uh, come out in different subjects. So that is also available at the BOS Knowledge Portal. It will be available on the CDS also. So for some subjects, you can take the Saranj and some subjects you can take the study material along with you. Depending upon which subject you're more comfortable with, because this is a multidisciplinary case study paper, which will cover all subjects. So there are, for every student will have their weak areas, their strong areas and all. Concentrate more on your strengths and uh, try to attempt those case studies which involve the subjects which you are strong at. And for this purpose to guide you, what we are basically going to do in these sessions is we are going to take up the case studies and we are going to tell you how you go about solving those case studies. It may involve accounting, it may involve taxation, it may involve law, it may involve advanced financial management. Different, different case studies may have different, different combinations. So how do you go about doing these case studies. For that, how do you need to prepare? You first need to prepare. When you prepare for the individual subjects, you automatically prepare for the case study also. And how do you go about preparing? One is we have the study materials. The study materials are also web hosted. Apart from that, we have a saranj also where things are presented in a very attractive manner so that you can you learn easily. It makes you help you learn when the things are presented in a concise, better manner. It makes learning easier for you. So that that way, Saranj will help you. Apart from that, your concepts where you have some problem in understanding, you can always view the live learning classes of the respective subjects also. 
plus we have the recorded lectures also of these subjects which are available for you it is available in your mobile app also it's available in the portal also so all these things are available to you plus even the mcq practice portal dashboard which we had launched subject wise paper paper practice uh, paper dashboard in which of course those are in the form of mcqs those will help you assess your level of understanding whether you really understood things correctly in that respective subject or not to that extent the mcq practice you will be able to assess your level of understanding and any moment you feel you have some query some concept which are not clear about in any subject for that matter you can always post it in your ask your query feature in the mobile app or the email ids the subject email ids are there for each subject so all uh, all the subject faculty in the bos will guide you in their respective subjects rajiv ji will guide you overall how to go about uh, attempting a multidisciplinary case study rajiv ji is there the uh, deepak gupta is also mr deepak gupta is also there he will be coming for the future session so they they will guide you on how do you go about attempting a multidisciplinary case study paper individual subject faculty will guide you in their respective subjects so you can post your query in the ask your query portal you can send a mail at the respective mail ids telephone numbers landline numbers are also web hosted at the bos knowledge portal if you have query in any particular subject you can call the respective faculty and they are always here to guide you so uh shruti juneja is asking which study material can we take all rest five papers there again i told you na you each individual each student has to analyze their own strengths and weaknesses accordingly you have to decide which study material suppose you are very confident in tax in uh, second group anyway you have to study dti idt you are very confident about those papers then you can take the study material of advanced financial management advanced auditing that you can take the study material you can take the saransh of uh, indias you can take the saransh of this one it it is up to you to decide if, what is your area of strength what is your area of weakness and according to that you can take the study material it is left uh, left to the individual students shankara has asked ma'am then separate 30 marks with mcq booklet will not be there in paper 6 nay 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 it it is not that uh, for paper 6 what happens is that is a case study you will have a case study for 25 marks there are there will be five such case studies each case study is for 25 marks where you will be given the facts of the case study and based on that facts you will have five mcqs of two marks each making it 10 marks for that case study and 15 marks you will have descriptive questions it may be two questions three questions four questions depending upon the requirement of the question so on based on that case study you will have uh, mcqs also you will have descriptive questions also it, it, it may involve more it will definitely involve more than one subject two subjects or three subjects it will involve i would suggest that you go to the bos knowledge portal in that when you click inter integrated business solutions case studies have been web hosted in that uh, particular 15 case studies have been web web hosted so far so if you go and view those case studies you will have an idea about how case studies will be asked in the exam here again i'll try to let me tell you one thing maybe you will have a few less mcqs or few more mcqs in each case study. that is what we web hosted that is only for the purpose of your understanding in the exam in all case studies you will have five mcqs of two marks each and 15 marks you will have descriptive questions five case studies you will have and out of the five you can choose any four uh yes simarjit uh, uh, saransh is available in the uh, uh, bos knowledge portal yes. saransh is available you can just go through that it is coming under capsules it is available un under capsules prerna coacher you are telling that it is vast to study actually uh, the objective is that now you have individual papers where you have individual knowledge but actually uh, this aim of this paper is to test that yeah you studied so much but how are you going to apply it in a, uh, solving a particular case studies where it involves more than one subject that is the purpose of this paper and uh, since it's an open book and since the percentage of mcqs is higher uh, this will definitely help you to score very well this paper paper will definitely help you to score very well yes kriti the paper pattern is more uh, is in line with the elective paper, uh, paper pattern in the old scheme 10 marks in each case study 
for your uh, MCQs and after that 15 marks for your descriptive questions. Uh, Simranjit Singh, you're telling you're not able to uh, see the Saranj. It's under the subject-wise capsules. If you go to the subject uh, subject-specific capsules now, there you go inside. In that, uh, there is a link to the Saranj. You'll be able to see it. Uh, Simranjit Singh, again, there is no compulsory case study. Five case studies are there. You can attempt any four. Here again, let me tell you, when you attempt the four case studies, you go through the questions given after the case study. Sometimes what happens generally, you know, the case study, when you read, you might not be able to make out whether it is difficult, whether it's easy and all those things. But when you read the questions, now you will understand which areas you're most comfortable with. Suppose, say there's a question on uh, computation of total income, which you know, but in the, in the, from the facts given in the uh, case study, you might not be able to make out the difficulty level. When you do see the question, you might make out, yeah, it is a residential status question in the MCQ. Based on that, you have to compute the total income in the uh, descriptive question. So you'll be able to make out the requirements easily when you go through the uh, questions given below the case study. That will help you to identify which case studies to choose. Pradeep Loha, the case study would involve multiple subjects. It will involve more than one subject. That is why it is an integrated business solutions. Yes, Vicky Kumar, you can uh, bring multiple subject study materials. You can bring it in the um, to the exam. That is not a that is not a problem. So I hope, you know, I'm very clear uh, relating to this. It's an open book pattern of uh, paper open book pattern. And it's a case study based. You will have five case studies of 25 marks each. You can choose any four of that. Each case studies will have five MCQs of two marks, making it 10 and 15 marks descriptive questions. It will span more than one subject. Definitely, but that's, that's why it is a multidisciplinary case study. So uh, you can choose any four of that. And study materials, which study materials you want to bring to the exam hall, for which ones you have to want to take a condensed version of Saranj, it is up to your individual strengths. You have to take into consideration your individual strengths. You have to make that particular decision. Lakshman Kumar, you are asking about costing and law. Yes, SETE and SETB also it will be included in this particular thing. Study materials for SETE and SETB are uh, available in the BOS Knowledge Portal. And uh, as far, uh, even in the MCQ Paper Practice Dashboard, uh, MCQs and case scenarios are uploaded in respect of these two papers, which you can practice so that you are geared up to attempt this paper. That MCQs, which I'm talking about, is for the purpose of your practice. What is going to come in the exam is MCQs based on the case studies, five case studies. Past paper of multidisciplinary, Ash Ashish Rajwani are asking whether past papers of multidisciplinary case study are relevant. Here you have to exercise some caution. One is between old scheme to new scheme, syllabus has undergone a change. Second one, as you know, in some subjects, even, even if the in portions where the syllabus has not undergone a change, the law might have undergone a change. Like in taxation papers, it undergoes a change every year. All of you are aware of it. Even if you have to study for your individual direct tax and indirect tax papers, between November to next May, the finance applicability of the Finance Act changes. So according to that, there will be changes. So when you are seeing the past year suggested answers, keep in mind that the position of law might have undergone a change on account of changes in the finance act changes in by, by way of notification circulars and all that so that you have to take into consideration if you are viewing past years papers and also one more thing which you have to keep in mind is the change in syllabus between old scheme to new scheme so that is why we are ourselves web hosting case studies based on the new syllabus in the bos knowledge portal under paper six final paper six integrated business solutions Uh, Shankara, yeah, you can take study material of set A and set B also to the exam hall. Sindranjit Singh, yeah, the case studies will be the same for all students. It will be the same for all students. 
what you give will come in the uh, what will come in the exam is the same. See, for students who are writing it group by group, Shruti Joneja, yeah, it, it, uh, students who are writing both groups will find it uh, more easier than students who are writing group by group, but still it is not difficult. That's what I'm telling you to hold. It's an, first of all, it's an open book exam. Secondly, you can make reading your learning simpler by, uh, you, because you are, you have anyway learned all these subjects. It's not that you have not learned, you've learned these subjects. These subjects are the things you've applied somewhere in your practical training also. Through that also you've, you've acquired knowledge. So, and what you would definitely have to brush up. So you can brush up with the help of Saranj. Of course, the study materials, the live recorded lectures, uh, live uh, learning classes, which are uh, uh, being provided by the uh, BOS, as well as the recorded lectures which are available these will help you to do it and remember that you need not wrote learn it you just have to understand these concepts which anyway you are expected to have a knowledge of when you qualify as a chartered accountant Radeep Loga, uh, Lohar as a uh, Hindi English lecture. By and large, it will be in English because, you know, this is for a pan India. But uh, anywhere you want somebody, to, uh, the faculty to explain to you in Hindi also, they can explain to you that particular point in Hindi if you particularly make a request for that. Otherwise, it will be basically in English. Okay. Now I will hand it over to Mr. Rajiv Sachdevaji to start taking up the case study. He will explain the case study to you. And the uh, questions which are involved, you can raise the queries. After, uh, after that, to give insights on the specific subjects, we have a subject faculty here also, uh, Shilpa Agarwal and Mega Goel. They will be joining you to give insights on the subjects of uh, account, uh, financial reporting and law, respectively. And uh, over to Mr. Sachdevaji. Thank you, Priya, madam. Thank you so much. Thank you for sharing your wisdom and sharing important things, most important things with the students. Thank you, Priya Madam. Yes, yeah. yeah, students, uh, Priya Madam has conveyed very important things to you or Priya Madam ne bhi bataya aapko ki conceptual understanding. Conceptual understanding is most important thing to handle the case studies which appear in the examination. So conceptual, there is no need of rote learning. Madam has rightly said, there is no need of rote learning. Students, you need to be very much clear about the concepts. Paper 1, FR, full of concepts. Paper 2, advanced financial management, total conceptual knowledge. Paper 3, Total concepts, advanced auditing, and then paper four is uh, DT. Law, even law, you need to understand the provisions of the law. Understand it. First, you should be clear conceptually. Concepts, you, you should have complete grip over the concepts, over the provisions of law. Concepts or provisions of law if law paper is concerned and about GST law also. So students, once you are clear with the concepts, you understand the law provisions, then you need to learn the application part by solving the numericals, by understanding the examples, understanding illustrations given in the study material, understanding the test you are understanding given in the study material. So from various sources, from the LVC which uh, uh, you have attended, from the various sources, you should apply the concepts which you have learned. You should learn to apply those concepts by solving the numericals, by, hand, by uh, uh, reading the illustrations, by attending LVC classes. So you should also learn the application part because paper 6, is totally going to test your uh, test your concepts which you have learned in the uh, various papers. 
which are part of this uh, study material, which are part of this syllabus of this paper, paper six. So paper six ka syllabus kya hai? Paper six ka syllabus kya hai? That is again a very important question. Uh, paper six ka syllabus students, core papers at the final level, plus set A and set B, plus set A paper and set B paper. तो कोर पेपर्स आपके स्टूडेंट्स कौन से हैं एफआर एडवांस्ड फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट है ऑडिटिंग है देन वी हैव डायरेक्ट टैक्स है देन वी हैव जीएसटी एंड कस्टम एंड देन वी हैव कॉस्टिंग एंड फाइनली कंपनी लॉ कॉस्टिंग स्ट्रेटजिक पार्ट आईबीएस इंटीग्रेटेड बिजनेस सॉल्यूशन विद स्ट्रेटजिक मैनेजमेंट स्ट्रेटजिक पार्ट विल ओनली बी आस्क्ड in terms of strategic cost and uh, SCMP paper and not that that way ki strategic management will be asked. So strategic management part will be asked only in respect of costing paper. So let's be clear with that. Shilpa madam you will uh, you want to say something uh, about this strategic exact... management part? See, strategic management, definitely you are studying in your set B. So that paper will include whatever strategic management which you have studied at intermediate that is covered in your study material of set B also. So definitely you are not required to go with the study material, go through the study material of intermediate. Uh, studying your set B study material will be will suffice. And uh, in your case studies also, you'll get an idea because the case studies which are being uploaded recently in the coming edition of the Students Journal, you'll be having uh, IBS case studies. The addition is de uh, dedicated to IBS case studies only at final level. So you'll also get a glimpse of how strategic management is incorporated in the study material. Uh, sorry, in your case studies. And accordingly, you can practice for that. Are there more queries? Should yeah, there are many queries, sir. Uh, uh, some it? students have asked for that. Can they take only uh, institute study material or they can take any other material beyond our institute's publication. Yes, you are allowed to take uh, any publication which it is not compulsory to be your institute material. You can take beyond that also. However, electronic gadgets like tabs, your phones, they are not allowed to for reference. It should be a printed book which you need to carry for examination as an open book examination. So students printed material. Aap chahe study material le jayen, apne notes le jayen, kuch bhi le jayen. लेकिन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक गैजेट्स एग्जाम में अलाउड नहीं होंगे तो दिस इज द आइडिया बिहाइंड आप प्रिंटेड कुछ भी लेके जा स्टडी मटेरियल आप कोई बुक लेके जा सकते हैं नोट्स लेके जा सकते हैं वन क्वेश्चन this is yes. Bhagishri, uh, Bhagishri Gute. They, she has asked, what will be the percentage of questions for each subject subject in IBS paper? See, there is no defined uh, percentage of each subject in an IBS case study. It is that every case study will be uh, having more than two subjects involved. But there is no fixed percentage that there will be 20% of each subject coverage. It is not like that. So you have to study your they'll you there'll be five case studies out of which you have to do four in the examination and in that manner you'll be getting coverage of all the subjects but not in each case study so each case study may students minimum you have minimum two subjects coverage hona chahiye to ye requirement minimum two subjects ki hai aur usme three four subjects bhi ho sakte hain case study mein aisa uh, matlab means minimum two subjects get covered in one case study. Okay, one student Anushka Chauhan is asking, will this lecture be available as recording later? I guess, yes, it will be available. Yes, yes, it because will be. Because we'll be discussing case studies later on. So this will be available on uh, your uh, institutes uh, where you are going for student login in your mo uh, BUS mobile app also. Recorded lecture of this session will be available. Okay, for self-paced uh, students, for self-paced examination, uh, Mansha and Shruti Juneja is asking uh, when the lectures of self-paced papers will be uploaded and uh, what will be the examination pattern. Just wait for have patience, students. And examination department will soon come with a notification regarding the exam conducting exam for this self-paced material. And accordingly, we are also in the process of developing the lectures and soon you'll get that. 
okay one uh, nimitha nimitha is asking those who are appearing directly in group 2 without group 1 see student pmm has already explained you those who are already appearing uh, those who are preparing only for group 2 they have to study the uh, content or they have to study your paper 1 subjects also for this paper 6 but for that you can instead of uh, having that uh, pain in your mind just go through the go through sharansh which is there that will give you the brief idea and also uh, it will help you in and just some way covering those uh, subjects which are there in group 1 also so don't be panic it is really it is not that difficult which you are perceiving it when you'll appear for the examination for for soothing students let me tell you we have increased the weightage of mcqs in this paper it is now 40% for rest papers you will be having 30% mcqs but for this paper you will be having 40% mcqs so it is not going to be difficult at all it will be easy for you you are studying uh, subjects for your paper uh, this paper and for first paper for first group also you'll be having various books which will help you in understanding things sarash is comprehensively designed for you for you all and it carries all the provisions of india so those who are not studying even group 1 they can also uh, study in short time they can go through uh, sarash and can have a grasp inside of the subject which will help you in uh, answering the questions uh, answering the case studies for this paper Okay, students. So for self paced, there will be a separate session. There we can uh, address the queries. Uh, let us uh, limit to the session because many students are waiting for the case studies to start. So it will be better if we ask the questions related to this uh, paper and this session. Hmm. Uh, so exam duration. Sorry, so one more question is that Manju Nath uh, MT is asking whether the exam duration will be three or four hours. So for this paper, the examination duration will be four hours. So you'll be given fifteen minutes reading time. That is in addition to four hours. Uh, what is given to you for solving the case studies? Four case studies out of five. Fifteen minutes reading time will also be provided for this particular paper. For rest of the papers uh, in your final level, uh, paper one to five, you'll be having three hours duration examination. But for this paper exclusively, you'll be having four hours examination. Okay, one question, sir. This you will be able to answer. Pradeep Lohar is asking how classes going on means only case study solving classes or learning and reading selected concepts with case study. Yes, we will learn uh, selected concepts also. Naturally, obviously, the concepts which are involved in the case study, which are asked in the case study, so the those concepts will be discussed uh, with the students and uh, also. the case study incomplete will be discussed the concepts which are there in the case study will definitely be discussed yes okay um, one is asking detail about costing syllabus in paper 6 so whatever the syllabus is there for your core paper that is there is no separate syllabus for this paper the syllabus of this paper is the core subjects which you are studying paper 1 to 5 along with set a and b that is the syllabus which is there for this paper so there is no separate subject uh, syllabus of costing defined for this particular paper what whatever, whatever you are going to study in your set b that will be applicable for this paper as well Okay, for May twenty four self pace can be given after passing six papers, but uh, paper six, yes, this year uh, you have to go for this paper. But uh, self pace examination wise, you'll be you have been given relaxation that you can appear for the examination after appearing for this examination or after after appearing for the final examination, but uh, before declaration of result. But uh, study you have to incorporate in your for this paper you have to do that. one miss uh, kriti so salgaonkar has asked there may be multiple concepts of different subjects in one case study yes definitely definitely multiple concepts would be there we would be discussing right away in this particular session we will be discussing case one case study incomplete so students us case study mein different uh, subjects ke concepts involved hain to wo hum case study abhi discuss karenge Shruti, uh, there will be a mix of all the subjects. It is not that mix of all subjects in one case study. One case study will have two or three subjects involved. But since you will be having five case studies, so your five subjects plus your self-paced model content, the concepts will be tested through five case studies, not in one case study. So it may happen that. 
and it is not compulsory that in every case study have a content of self paced a or b there may be some case studies which have content of core core papers and uh, portion of core papers and there may be some case studies where involvement is of self paced also so it is not that all case studies are going to have contents of uh, of portion of self paced we again uh, prashad ji is asking uh, being open book examination which book to be carried to examination this time you can answer sir uh, <laughs> any material where you are well versed with that that will help you in your examination because if you are not well versed with your the material which you are carrying with you in your examination then even if you get poor as referring them will unnecessary consume unnecessary that will waste your time so whatever material you have studied the preparation should be beforehand just carry the material for reference if required in your examination and uh, material is not restricted to any bos publication or institute publication any material which you prefer or your notes which you have prepared you can carry that in your examination depending on your carrying capacity and the uh, limited space provided to you for the in the examination there is no fixed percentage or proportion of one subject you can have you can have an insight of how much proportion is involved in each case study through the case studies which we have already web hosted on the we have already web hosted on bus knowledge portal 15 case studies have already been web hosted and every case study have a portion or there is no fixed portion but you can get an insight ki what is the coverage of each subject in each case study and sir we can now start with the case studies okay students let us start with the case studies in case you have any more general queries we can take it in between or yes, at the end definitely in between we will take yes the case study which we are discussing is so one could by the time you start just one question uh, one yes, student that, mansa has asked definitely. content of ca inter can also be incorporated in case studies i uh, i mean to say accounting standards audit standard no your syllabus is restricted to core papers of final plus set a and b so whatever is given in your core papers at final level that will only be as in the case study in case something beyond is asked then it will be provided to exhibit but there is rare chances of that whatever is there the syllabus of your core final papers that is your syllabus is restricted to that only so for paper 6 also the syllabus is restricted to your core papers at final level along with uh, set a set b yes coming to the case study students this case study is about a company which is doing the manufacturing of sol solar panels and in this case study in this particular case study you will come across uh, the company because company is uh, you see doing lot of things in renewable energy and the projects which uh, which we which the government wants to do wants them to do so government has given for the purpose government has given grant to the company and there are issues which are uh, issues which are there while doing the manufacturing while doing the business issues are there with respect to gst with respect to uh, company law some issues are there so because this is a uh, limited company students so phil first of all i will read out the case study we will go slow students because slow understanding is the best understanding let me explain to you understand agar aap cheezon ko slowly karenge to aapki output fast aayegi so this is the basic idea students aap concept pe apni grip puri rakhein because conceptual understanding is paper ke liye bahut important role play karne wali hai so i am going to read out the case study first hum slowly read karenge aap dhyan se just keep your focus on the case study so that aap facts jo case study ke hain wo acche se samajh sake and then we will discuss the questions involved in the case study and then we will take take, take the uh, particular subjects involved in the case study so this is luminous limited is a company engaged in the manufacture of solar panels the vision of the company the vision of the company is to provide the most compelling value in solar energy industry by value the company means designing and installing highest quality solar panels on a timely basis 
with proper safety standards so company is very cautious about its safety standards about the costs company is very because company has to uh, compete with its competitors so company is very cautious about uh, safety standards lower costs etc the company also aims at students company aims at providing the country with clean abundant low cost distributed and renewable energy it is one of the largest vertically integrated solar company that offers services across the spectrum of photovoltaics manufacturing this is a kind of engineering manufacturing kind of technology i can say photovoltaics this is basically these types of manufacturing is uh, basically in usa going on in usa the company offers and produces high efficiency solar panels with higher performance and enhanced reliability i mean to say ki ye ye photovoltaics manufacturing wali company काफी सारी मैं ये नहीं कह रहा कि ये कंपनी यूएसए में काफी सारी कंपनी यूएसए में भी मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कर रही है दिस इज व्हाट आई मीन टू से तो कंपनी ऑफर्स एंड प्रोड्यूसेस हाई एफिशिएंसी सोलर पैनल्स विद हायर परफॉर्मेंस एंड एनहांस्ड रिलायबिलिटी तो कंपनी एनवायरमेंटली स्टूडेंट्स कॉशियस है कंपनी गवर्नमेंट को सपोर्ट करने के लिए गवर्नमेंट के प्रोजेक्ट सपोर्ट करने के लिए कॉन्शियस है तो कंपनी बेसिकली एनवायरमेंट को प्रोटेक्ट करने के लिए कॉन्शियस है और कंपनी नेचुरली ऑब्वियसली इंप्लॉय फ्रेंडली भी होगी तो ये सारी चीजें कंपनी का एक विजन है कंपनी हैज द फॉलोइंग विजन क्या है स्टूडेंट्स टू बी ए वर्ल्ड क्लास लीडर इन बिजनेस दैट कंट्रीब्यूट टू नेशंस इन बिल्डिंग इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर थ्रू सस्टेनेबल वैल्यू क्रिएशन तो कंपनी का देखो आप विजन कितना जबरदस्त है तो ये केस स्टडी की बिगनिंग इंट्रोडक्शन है स्टूडेंट्स ल्यूमिनस लिमिटेड हैज ऑलवेज बीन ए स्टैंडर्ड for all the manufacturing companies for product quality the company has multiple quality checks during its solar module production this helps to ensure flawless production of solar panels and hence attain utmost customer satisfaction so company cautious as students aap dekh rahe hain is customer satisfaction ho or cost ho environment ki saving to company is cautious और कंपनी स्टूडेंट्स आपने देखा जैसे कि रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी में भी काफी काम करे जो कि गवर्नमेंट का भी फेवरेट प्रोजेक्ट है और कंपनी के सेफ्टी स्टैंडर्ड्स कंपनी ऑन द अदर एंड अपने एम्प्लॉयज की सेफ्टी भी चाह रही है कि हमारे एम्प्लॉय भी ऑन द अदर एंड सेफ रहे वाइल द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एक्टिविटीज कॉन्टिन्यूड द कंपनी बिलीव दैट इन रिसोर्स केयर्स डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज आइडेंटिफाइंग एंड टारगेटिंग आर एंड डी पॉलिसी देखो रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट में भी कंपनी पीछे नहीं है कंपनी रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट का भी काम कर रही है इन क्रिटिकल एरिया सच एज एनर्जी इज पर्टिकुलरली इंपॉर्टेंट टू मैक्सिमाइज बेनिफिट ड्राइव फ्रॉम लिमिटेड फंड एंड स्किल्ड मैन पावर एनर्जी आर एंड डी पॉलिसी एनालिसिस एंड फॉर्मुलेशन इन ए डेवलपिंग कंट्री शुड नॉट बी कैरिड आउट इन आइसोलेशन it must be consistent with overall technology policy as well as national energy policy so management of the company is of the view that ultimately energy r and d policies and priorities must support the goals of the national socio economic development dekho national development mein company contribute kar rahi hai socio economic development company contribute kar rahi hai therefore these priorities or company ki priority hai students these therefore these priorities must be determined on the basis of an analytical framework that recognizes and addresses national development objectives the company the research and development department is working day and night very hard to come out with solar panels with the lowest possible cost so as to compete with the foreign manufacturer of solar panels during financial year 2324 इनकम टैक्स के लिए आपका प्रीवियस ईयर 23 24 होगा स्टूडेंट्स गवर्नमेंट गेव द फॉलोइंग ग्रांट्स गवर्नमेंट गेव द फॉलोइंग ग्रांट्स अब देखो गवर्नमेंट उधर हम वर्ड कहते हैं गवर्नमेंट गेव कोई गवर्नमेंट की कंपनी ग्रांट नहीं दे रही स्टूडेंट्स गवर्नमेंट यहां पे ग्रांट्स दे रही है गवर्नमेंट गेव द फॉलोइंग ग्रांट्स अब गवर्नमेंट अगर ग्रांट दे रही है तो हमारे दिमाग में 
कौन सा इंडिया से आता है स्टूडेंट्स आप लिखो आंसर अपना कौन सा इंडिया स्टूडेंट्स यहां पे एप्लीकेबल हो जाएगा अगर गवर्नमेंट ग्रांट दे रही है तो लेट मी चेक आउट विद योर आंसर स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज आंसर ऑन द मेल आपकी थोड़ी सी दूसरे सब्जेक्ट की नॉलेज भी टेस्ट करूंगा की कौन सा इंडिया होगा स्टूडेंट अगर गवर्नमेंट ग्रांट दे रही है तो Yes, Shilpa, are students answering? Sir, scroll नहीं हो रहा शायद एक बार स्क्रॉल यहाँ पे तो हो रहा है नहीं पर स्क्रॉल हो रही है सर देखो हम स्क्रॉल कर रहे हैं तो नहीं तो स्टूडेंट्स आप केस स्टडी देख पा रहे हैं नहीं देख पा रहे एक बार आप मेल पे लिखें एक बार देखना क्वेरी बॉक्स में शिल्पा स्क्रॉल तो हो रही है ना अच्छा ठीक है Okay, some students are asking for India's twenty on government. Board. India's twenty, very good. They are applying. Yeah. India's twenty, यहाँ पे applicable हो जाएगा students. और government gave the following grants. तो इसमें government की definition आपको अच्छे से आनी चाहिए. Grant की definition भी अच्छे से आपको पता होनी चाहिए. To Luminous Limited for its business of solar panel. Thirty lakhs. Government gave the following grants. तो फर्स्ट ग्रांट क्या है स्टूडेंट थर्टी लैक्स फॉर पास्ट रिसर्च ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी रिलेटेड टू सोलर सिस्टम देर इज नो कंडीशन अटैच तो इसमें गवर्नमेंट ने कोई कंडीशन नहीं लगाई है सेकंड इज फाइव लैक टूवर्ड्स परचेज ऑफ मशीनरी ऑफ फिफ्टीन लैक्स तो दिस इज रिलेटेड टू ग्रांट रिलेटेड टू असेट आई सपोज यूजफुल लाइफ ऑफ द मशीनरी फाइव ईयर एंड डेप्रिशिएशन ऑन द मशीनरी इज टू बी चार्ट ऑन स्ट्रेट लाइन बेसिस थ्री एकड़ मोर ओवर थ्री एकड़ ऑफ लैंड टू सेट अप ए प्लांट और इन द फेयर वैल्यू ऑफ लैंड इज ट्वेंटी लैक्स ये स्टूडेंट फोर्थ ग्रांट इज गवर्नमेंट ग्रांट ऑफ रुपीज ट्वेंटी लैख टू डिफरे एक्सपेंसिज रिलेटेड टू एनवायरमेंटल एनवायरमेंट एनवायरमेंटल प्रोटेक्शन मैंने आपको बताया था उस समय कि कंपनी कॉशियस है इन चीजों को लेके और कंपनी उस पर स्पेंड भी कर रही है आप देखो कि कंपनी ने उस पर सिक्स लैक्स पर एन एम spent kiya for the next 5 years expected this is expected environmental cost to be incurred is 6 lakhs per annum for the next 5 years yes you uh -huh. you want to say something nahi i just thought since students were asking ki whether we'll be explaining a concept yes. also beyond that so since it involves uh -huh. as 20 i thought yes, let yes. me just start definitely, with that yes, so uh, if we go with the first thing we'll find See for government grants, students, it is very necessary. India's twenty devotes only to government grants. Any other donation by any other institution is not covered in this standard. This standard talks about only about government grants. So any grant in any form, whether it is in cash, it is in consideration, or it is in the form of any assets, whether it is current or non-current. or any type of subsidy they provide if a government is providing to the business for uh, to an entity then it is covered under india's 20 and we have to apply india's 20 for this and above all we have to also see whether the government grant or grant which has been given by the government any condition is attached to it or not if condition is attached to it and it is a particular really related to fulfillment of conditions which is satisfied over the period of time accounting will get different if it there no condition is attached then accounting will be different so we have to look into that whether any condition is attached or not and if any condition is attached then what is the condition and in what time duration it will be in what duration period it will be satisfied accordingly we have to account for that grant in the first situation if we go through that 30 lakhs for past research of technology related to solar system there is no condition attached. to the grant since there is no condition attached to the grant it means there is no question of satisfaction of the condition so in that case it will immediately be charged to your profit sorry it will be immediately recognized to your profit and loss so any uh, grant which is related to any technology but no condition is attached it means it is immediate it immediately becomes the income of the entity so it will be recognized in your profit and loss as income in second part if you see Five lakh towards purchase of machinery is there, and useful life of the machinery is five years, and depreciation of the machinery is to be charged on straight line basis. 
we are here the condition is not mentioned but auto condition is there it understood that ki if you are giving a gum if government is giving a grant related to any non current asset and that it is a non current asset means it will be used by the entity over the period definitely by more than 12 months beyond your reporting period or beyond 12 months from the reporting period so in such a situation auto condition is that ki till the time machinery is used your grant will be applicable to you your accounting for grant is to be taken care of so in this situation there are two uh, method which has been prescribed in india is 20 one is either you consider the amount of government grant related to non asset as deferred income and systematically you just charge uh, recognize it in the profit and loss so it means you have to capitalize whole grant and out of that whole grant you have to systematically recognize every year till the useful life of the asset to profit and loss account so in that case if grant is for 5 lakh rupees and the useful life of the machinery is 5 years so 5 lakhs divided by 5 years Five lakhs uh, divided by five years. Every year, one lakh will be recognized to profit and loss account. This is the first method where you are recognizing one total five lakh as deferred income, and out of this deferred income, you are transferring this one uh, lakh every year. Every year, you are transferring this to statement of profit and loss. Okay. so this is one of the first matter in in second matter what will happen in second matter since this grant has been provided against your non current asset so with respect to that asset we can reduce the cost of the asset so instead of your here in this question the cost of the machinery is 15 lakhs and grant is provided for rupees 5 lakh so we can is you we can reduce the cost of 15 lakhs to by rupees 5 lakh so 15 minus 5 lakh 10 lakh will be recognized in your books as the cost of the asset and in what will happen this 10 lakh will be uh, depreciated for 5 years every year 2 lakh depreciation will be charged so just let me explain you uh, let me explain you what will be the impact in the profit and loss account in under both the methods if we okay sorry uh, screen sharing i believe we have the screen sharing I just want to shift to one note. Just a minute, students. Let me open a uh, one note uh, page where I'll just explain you what is the impact of both the method. Let me explain. However, that in both the cases. in one case what we are doing we are recognizing depreciation with full value of the machinery so in this case first method in first method where we are recognizing the amount of 5 lakhs as deferred grant deferred income what will happen we are charging every year we are charging 1 lakh as income but in this case our asset will be shown in the books by 15 lakhs only so depreciation on this 15 lakh divided by 5 years we'll get 3 lakhs per annum per annum will be the depreciation so this 1 lakh is your income in your statement of profit and loss and in your uh, statement of profit and loss depreciation will be 3 lakh so net impact on your profit and loss will be Two lakh expense. Now, if we go through, if we see the second method, in second method, what will happen? You are not recognizing any deferred income. Why? Because you are reducing the cost of the asset. In that case, your cost of asset is becoming ten lakh rupees. And in this ten lakh rupees, when divided by five years, you get depreciation of two lakhs per annum. So you will be charging only depreciation by two lakh per annum. so if you see net impact is same it is only the method which is showing you that in first you are charging the first you are recognizing the income and then you charging the depreciation with full value here in the second method your depreciation automatically is adjusted with the amount of a grant and net impact will come to same so this is first one thing 
this in the second point if we check that sorry where is the case study sir where is the case study Just to many students. I want to open my page to the room. Fine, PDF. PDF file. अच्छा नोट का आइटम कौन सा है अच्छा अब बताइए तो अगेन वी आर कमिंग बैक टू केस स्टडी एंड इन केस स्टडी वी हैव सॉल्व फर्स्ट पॉइंट वेयर वे आर सेइंग दैट इट सिंस नो कंडीशन वाज अटैच थर्टी लैक विल बी इमीडिएटली रिकॉग्नाइज्ड टू पीएनएल इन सेकंड केस सेकंड ग्रांट There are two ways given in India twenty. This is already you must have studied. Even if we go through Saranch, I'll navigate you through Saranch because many of the students while PMM was addressing, they were asking where is Saranch given in the BOS Knowledge Portal. So I'll take you to BOS Knowledge Portal also and tell uh, locate you where the Saranch has been given. So second point five lakhs. There are two methods of solving it. Either you recognize as deferred income and charge the depreciation with full value. Or in the second matter, you reduce the value of the cost of the asset, and after reduce in and on those reduced costs, you charge the depreciation. Now, third point is three acres of land set up uh, to set up a plan. The fair value of the land is twenty lakh rupees. Here, you are not providing any grant against the asset; you are providing the asset. So, in in this case, government is giving you an asset, not the grant against the asset. So, this is the asset. When a when an asset is provided as a grant. There are two ways of doing it. Whether they are charging, giving you the asset at concessional rate, or they are giving you the asset at free of cost. In this question, nothing is mentioned, so it means that grant the asset has been provided by the government at free of cost. When free of cost asset is provided in the form of grant, that asset is recognized in the books at nominal value. What is the nominal value here? Nominal value is say one rupee. That is the nominal value which you are not going to depreciate. It will only show that that asset is there in your with the entity, just to show that the assets are recognized in uh, at nominal value. Another way is that you recognize the asset at fair value. So, however, here you can recognize now earlier it was only at fair value. In days twenty again says that you recognize the asset at fair value or recognize the asset at nominal value. And when you are recognizing at fair value, you have to every year see what is the fair value. But there is a second option given that recognize the asset at nominal value. So we can do both the things. We can recognize the asset since it is an asset free of cost. We can recognize it at nominal value. Further, Sanit also says if an asset is uh, grant grant is given in the form of asset, then and that asset is given at concessional rate. So whatever is the difference between the fair value and the concessional rate, that is considered as government grant. Remaining is not considered as government grant. For example, your land is say of twenty crore rupees. Government has granted you free of cost. Uh, so. You have to record in your books why nominal value that is one rupee. However, if your land is of twenty crores and government has given you at concessional rate say for fifteen crores, so five crore, which is the difference between the fair value of the asset and the value on which at which government has provided you, that concessional amount will only be considered as the amount of grant. That will be only five crores, twenty crores minus fifteen crores. That five crore will be considered as. The amount of grant, not the whole twenty crore, because here government is charging you something. So whatever you are paying is not a grant. Whatever you are not paying, that is the amount of grant. The fourth grant which is provided by the government is government grant of twenty lakhs to defray expenses for environmental protection. Expected environmental cost to be incurred is rupees six lakhs per annum for the next five years. So 
see students here we have to see first thing is that whether the promise of 20 lakhs it is with the condition attached that you have to uh, that this is to reimburse the expenses for environmental protection different means reimburse whatever expenses is incurred by the entity that the government is reimbursing to you reimbursing to the entity so in this case there are two things to see first is whether the grant is received beforehand or whether the promise to receive is certain if promise to receive is certain in both the situation you have to do accrual accounting and on the basis of accrual accounting this 20 lakh whole will be considered as government grant and deferred income out of that deferred income like we did in the second part out of that deferred income certain portion will be recognized every year in your statement of profit and loss now you are providing grant of 20 lakhs against total expense of 30 lakhs. How it is coming 30 lakhs? See, they are saying environmental cost to be incurred is 6 lakhs per annum for the next 5 years. It means 6 into 5, you are having 30 lakhs total expense is to be incurred by the entity. Against this 30 lakh, 20 lakh is provided in the form of grant. So, we have to recognize 20 lakh as in on accrual basis as government grant receivable and that receivable will be transferred to your deferred income and out of this receivable every year we have to charge to income and what to charge as income is the proportionate amount based on your expenses so 6 lakhs is the total uh, sorry 30 lakh is the total expense out of which 6 lakhs will be incurred every year so your 20 lakhs into 6 by 36 this will be your out on this basis you will be calculate proportionate grant which is to be recognized to st a statement of profit and loss every year this amount comes to full activities okay so this will be charged every year to your statement uh, sorry this will be recognized every year to your statement of profit and loss now there are two presentation ways like we were seeing in the second grant there are two ways of accounting here there are two ways of presentation for such kind of grant one is that you charge four lakh uh, net you charge four lakh as expense sorry four lakh as your income and six lakhs as your expense which you are going to incur every year one is, so just let me move to one note and then we'll see how to do it in this way. So again, there are two, uh, for fourth grant, we are talking about fourth grant and in fourth grant, we see there are two ways of presentation. Two ways of presentation are, okay, two ways of presentation. Under first way, we'll see is that your statement of profit and loss is there. First, you write other income. In other income, you are mentioning deferred government grant for activities. Okay. And your in your expenses part, you are mentioning expenses, environmental expenses, whatever expenses you are incurring, six lakh rupees. Okay. So your net impact on statement of profit and loss will be two lakh expense. Second way is Instead of mentioning it as other income, only go to expense part. And in expense part, you reduce your 6 lakh expense with the receipt of 4 lakh grant and whatever comes 2 lakh net expense that you represent in your statement of profit and loss. Your, again, your impact is going to be same. But this is the manner of presentation which is going to change. In both the cases, you are recognizing expense of 6 lakh. In both the cases, you are showing, uh, you are, sorry, you are charging the expense of 6 lakh and recognizing the income of 4 lakh. But presentation manner has been changed. In one first presentation, you are separately uh, showing your income and you are separately showing the expense. In the second presentation, you are netting the expense by reducing the amount of income. And net expense is only shown on the face of the, uh, in the final column, okay? So, these are the four ways in which, uh, these are the four different types of grants which have been uh, covered in this particular case study. And I have taken you the reason why which, uh, why this accounting is done, how this accounting is done and how it is presented in your financial statements. In case you have any issues, please you may ask for this particular issue. Then we'll move with the second part. Next. 
I have some queries also with general queries, which we'll be taking after this, uh, solving this India S20 wala part in the week also. Accounting for government grants and disclosure of government. Data. Yes, ma'am, it's visible, visible. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, ma'am, it's Pradeep, uh, sorry, Mancha is asking, ma'am, educational material on India is available on ICI homepage under the resources tab. Should we follow it or it is for members only? Basically, see, education material is meant for members. But there's no harm in referring if you have sufficient time beyond after all your preparation, after completion of your uh, preparation from BOS publication, you have additional time and you want to practice more questions, you can definitely refer the education material as well. But they are intended to make uh, for members. So, and because concepts of India 20 are there, on, they are same only whether you study from the study material or you study from the education material. So, many questions you may find it similar, which is given in the education material also, which is there in your BOS publication also. However, additional questions, if you find in your education material, you can definitely refer to that. That won't be considered as out of syllabus because India 20 is applicable to you. And what is required is that you know India 20. From where you are practicing the question, that is up to you. Uh, can you explain third government grant? Okay, was the uh, Mohammed Abdul Rahim is asking for third government grant. Third government grant is three acres of land to set up a plan. See here, grant is given by the government in the form of non as non current asset. It is not given in the form of any cash or something. So here we have to see how to recognize that asset as grant. So there are two ways. One is to recognize it at fair value and then another is to recognize it at mm -hmm. nominal value. Since this asset has been given free of cost, so it is uh, advisable to recognize it at nominal value. And when you are recognizing it, not, land itself is never depreciated. So you have to recognize it at nominal value only. It will continue with that nominal value. And if you are recognizing it at fair value, then every year you have to see what is the fair value of the asset or the reporting date. We'll just go through. Uh, we'll just go through the answer of this just to see if whatever we have discussed that is there or not. Okay, students. These are. This is the answer. This question. This scenario is related to your question number seven. Question number 10, huh, I'll just show the question first. Hmm. How should Luminous Limited recognize the government grants in its books of accounts for financial year two thousand twenty three twenty four? So we are we have already discussed the accounting part of this part, uh, this particular FR portion, which is related to grant, and that is first part we discuss entire grant amount of 20, 30 lakhs should be recognized immediately in PNL as there are no conditions attached to the grant. This we already discussed. Second part was re regarding a grant given against your non-current asset. So 5 lakhs should be recognized as there were two different methods we, which we discussed. One was either to recognize it as deferred grant income or one is to reduce from the cost of the asset. So here first it is mentioning about the, this first part of the point two is uh, discussing the first method where 5 lakh is recognized as deferred grant. Deferred income and is transferred to PNL over the useful life of the asset. In this case, one lakh, uh, five lakh divided by five years, one lakh is to be recognized every year as deferred income. Uh, and in the second uh, method of this particular grant is that reduce the cost of the asset. Your cost of the asset was 15 lakhs. And out of that 15 lakh, five lakh was reduced. And our net cost of the asset, which will appear in the balance sheet, will be 10 lakh less depreciation. So depreciation will be on the reduced cost of the asset and reduced cost will be cost less government grant. Third is land should be recognized at fair value of 20 lakhs and government grant should be presented in the balance sheet by setting up the grant as deferred income. Alternatively, deduct the amount of grant from the cost of the asset. In the given case, the land is granted at no cost. So it will be presented in the books at nominal value. So you have to present it in the nominal value. Okay. Third, fourth grant which we were talking about was that amount has been given to you regarding reducing your regarding your expenses. That is basically reimbursement of the expenses, expenses which were related to environmental protection. That if you are doing that, if you are incurring that, government is providing you some grant in the form of reimbursement of the expense. So there is basically that whole if there is certainty 
that that grant will be received to you you will be able to meet the conditions then you have to recognize the whole amount of grant which is receivable at the initial in the initial date on the first date only when government grant has been made that this this has been established that yes government grant will be received and yes we will be meeting the conditions which is attached to that particular grant. So, we will be recognizing the grant as receivable on the first day. Out of that, we will be every year transferring it to PNL as deferred income. Okay. And how to present that we have discussed in uh, detail by a separate sheet that there are two manner of presentation. One in which you are separately showing the income and you are separately showing the expense. And in the second presentation is that you first uh, reduce the cost of expense. You ex net out the expense. And the net expense is shown without showing, showing separately the income and expense at two different places. Second method, manner of presentation is recommended by the uh, standard. In India is 20. This is the reason because you will be able to locate that okay, this expense is related to this particular grant, or this grant is related to this particular expense. So at one place you can see that. So the second manner of presentation is recommended by India 20 also. However, it, it prescribes both the standard, both the presentation, but it recommends or advise to follow the second one. Okay. Second so yes, sir. Uh, Thank you, Shilpa. Thank you, Shilpa, madam, for your wisdom in FR. Uh, so, uh, some Are there more queries? Uh, some one student has, ma'am, question number seven is showing different question in my printout. Okay, you have taken the printout from the uh, website. There it is question number eight. So, you can see, check the question number eight for this, okay? Uh -huh, yes, it is question number eight regarding that grant that we are covering it. So, okay, we are taking the study. It is better to take, uh, refer what we are showing in the screen, okay? Thank you, Shilpa. Sir, one question was asked earlier. Uh, okay. We should not miss that out. Let me just take that before moving with other portions. Okay. That particular question was general question. It was it was that uh, more case studies will be issued over the PJ. I yeah. believe we'll be adding the there are fifteen case studies which are well posted till date, and we we'll, over the PJ will be adding more case studies to the website. Do you so be in touch with the website regularly check that you will find more case studies over the PJ. As I already mentioned, in the coming edition of the students journal, we'll be uh, that is completely dedicated for final level. It is completely dedicated to IBS paper six. So, so there you'll be finding two to three case studies. Three there. case studies three. are there. And two case studies will be in RTP. So in RTP also we will be giving you new case studies other than what is well posted. So there will be total five more case studies you will get in the coming month in the form of RTP and student channel. Beyond that also will be over the period we will be adding it on the website. Okay, one more question was how are paper six asking concept by different ways to compare to other five subjects? See, uh, when you qualify as a chartered accounting, you so not that you have to particularly do only one subject area practice. You have, may have to apply the knowledge which you have gained from different subjects and integrate those knowledge in one scenario, in one practical situation or practical scenario. So just to make you practice with that to how to deal with that such situation, such situation this we have come out with this paper. Oh, students say, or the question is students. Mm -hmm. आप ये देखो आप एक कंपनी में से ज्वाइन ही करते हो और अकाउंट्स मैनेजर ज्वाइन करते हैं से तो उसमें आपको इनकम टैक्स भी देखना पड़ता है जीएसटी भी देखना पड़ता है लॉ भी देखना पड़ता है इवन कंपनी कहती है सारा आप ही संभालो ये लोग अगर मीडियम साइज कंपनी तो सारा ही थी वो कहते संभाल लो आप तो आप वहां पे अकाउंट्स भी देख रहे होते हैं आप वहां पे लॉ भी देख रहे होते हैं आप फाइनेंस फंक्शन भी देख रहे होते हैं तो ये के मल्टीपल रोल होते हैं स्टूडेंट सो टू हैव द प्रोफिशिएंसी इन दैट आप अच्छे से संभाल पाए स्टूडेंट्स ये पेपर आपको मदद करने वाला है दिस इंटीग्रेटेड अप्रोच जो आप यहां पे लर्न करेंगे ना दैट विल हेल्प यू इन योर आफ्टर क्वालीफाइंग एज अ चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट एंड इन योर प्रैक्टिस और इन योर प्रोफेशन प्रैक्टिस में आप जॉब करोगे तो जॉब में बहुत ज्यादा हेल्पफुल होने वाला है तो प्रैक्टिस के अंदर भी आप अब देखो आप जो मीडियम सिटीज के अंदर जो चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट प्रैक्टिस करते हैं वो सारे उन वो इनकम टैक्स में वो प्रैक्टिस कर रहे होते हैं जीएसटी में वो बैंक फाइनेंस वो दिला रहे होते हैं तो मल्टीपल एरिया ऑफ प्रैक्टिस होते हैं स्टूडेंट्स उसमें ये चीजें आपको बड़ी बड़ी मदद करने वाली है यस सर मंजू नाथ एमटी हैज आज वन थिंग फॉर डिस्क्रिप्टिव आंसर्स इंस्टीट्यूट इज चेकिंग अप एप्लीकेशन नॉलेज व्हेदर वी रिक्वायर टू राइट ऑल डेफिनेशंस एंड प्रोविजंस स्पेसिफाइड इन द रेलेवेंट टैग प्लीज स्टूडेंट हियर इन दिस इंटीग्रेटेड बिजनेस सॉल्यूशन पेपर 
depending on the marks, you have to mention the provisions. Otherwise, and also in the requirement part of the question, if your question is simply asking to compute or determine, uh, explain the accounting treatment, in that way, you have to give small one or two line of provision and then you can continue with the computation and give the presentation what is required. No need, since it is an open book examination, doesn't mean that you have to reproduce the whole provision and then to start with the solution. No, it is not required. Yes. Right, sir. Okay. Now, if you suggest, I think we have covered general queries also. Okay. Okay. One question is difference between phase value. Kirti Sargaon is that difference between phase value. Sorry, phase value. Exactly your question is not clear. Phase value. Phase value. They are. Phase value. Difference between means. Sorry, uh, Kirti, I'm not able to understand exactly what. Nominal value or fair value. Difference. Pooch. Nominal. Ah, sir. Nominal value is basically. Just to show that asset has is there by the with the entity. So in that case, your asset is recognized with rupees one. That is the fair, uh, nominal value. And fair value is the what is the market value of that particular asset or exit value of that particular asset that is appeared in your balance sheet. There are two ways of uh, representing your asset in, under India 20. You can choose any of them, either at fair value or at nominal value. So this paper, we have to act like a consultant. This uh, Mancha is asking. Uh, this is not necessary that as a consultant, even when you are doing a job of an accountant or you are when you are applying that, integrated approach is always required. Right now also, we are using some way integrated approach, but that is subconscious. But here in this paper, you have to consciously use those knowledge which you are acquiring with other sub from other, other subjects. So we can proceed with the case yeah, study. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Shilpa, madam. Yes, uh, going ahead with the case study student. Still now, what, what, is, what was there in the case study student? Company Luminous Limited. This is environment friendly company. This is engaged in solar panel, manufacturing of solar panel. Or you have seen that company is eh, government ko kitna support the renewable energy. Mein, or company is very conscious of the cost of the environment. Protection करने की बात है तो कंपनी को गवर्नमेंट भी सपोर्ट कर रही है ऑन द अदर हैंड गवर्नमेंट ने भी कंपनी को ग्रांट दी इंडिया एस20 एप्लीकेबल हो गया आपने देखा शिल्पा मैडम ने कितनी ब्यूटीफुली आपको समझाया जो इंडिया एस20 रिलेटेड पॉइंट है इंडिया एस20 से रिलेटेड बहुत अच्छे से मैडम ने आपको समझाया स्टूडेंट और आप एक एक पॉइंट जो उन्होंने बात बोली है वर्ड्स ऑफ ग्रेट विजडम स्टूडेंट्स सो फार एज एफ आर इंडिया एस20 इज कंसर्न तो मैडम की जो जो पॉइंट थे आपने अच्छी तरह से उनको पिक अप किया है और आप अपने नोट्स भी बना लिया करो साथ साथ थोड़ा नोट नोट डाउन भी कर लिया करो जब भी आप केस स्टडी करने बैठते हो जब भी आप पढ़ने बैठते हो साथ साथ अपना पेन और नोटबुक स्टूडेंट्स जरूर रखा करो ताकि आप एक ब्रीफ नोट्स बना पाए साथ साथ आपको इससे मदद मिलेगी यस मूविंग टू अहेड इन द केस स्टडी स्टूडेंट्स बी आर श्रीधर एंड एसोसिएट्स ये स्टूडेंट स्टेचुटरी ऑडिटर है बिफोर गोइंग एड स्टूडेंट मैं इंट्रोड्यूस कर रहा हूँ आपको मेघा गोयल मैडम सी एस कंपनी सेक्रेटरी है तो मेघा गोयल मैडम लॉ की सेक्रेटरी है स्टूडेंट वो आपको लॉ पोर्शन जो केस स्टडी में आएगा वो एड्रेस करेंगी स्टूडेंट तो वेलकम मेघा मैडम थैंक यू सर और बी आर श्रीधरन एंड एसोसिएट आर स्टेचुटरी ऑडिटर ऑफ द कंपनी फॉर फाइनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर सेट सी एफ है Entire team of skilled and uh, proficient chartered accountants are there who can handle the various areas uh, relating to accounting, accountancy, auditing, then income tax, GST, company law matters. And the, this firm is having lot of chartered accountants and they are handling their part in the uh, firm. During the financial year under consideration, board of directors will be there. The board of directors will be there, so it's not a law in all the Board of directors of the company students. पास डे बोर्ड रेजोल्यूशन पास हो गया स्टूडेंट्स अब देखो यहाँ पे सीधा मेरे दिमाग में आता है कि यहाँ पे कंपनी लॉ शुरू हो चुका है तो जब भी आप केस स्टडी पढ़ो साथ साथ आप ये भी समझ लिया करो स्टूडेंट्स कि कौन सा एरिया अब स्टार्ट हो गया है तो यहाँ पे मेरे को साफ साफ दिख रहा है कि लॉ पार्ट शुरू कंपनी लॉ पार्ट शुरू हो चुका है वन ऑफ द डायरेक्टर ऑफ द कंपनी मिस्टर रमेश इज ऑफ द व्यू दैट द बोर्ड कैन एक्सरसाइज दिस पॉवर With the consent of shareholders by way of an ordinary resolution, and uh, sorry, मैं कोई line miss तो नहीं कर गया. Board resolution तक मैं पहुंचा था. First line मैं दोबारा repeat कर रहा हूँ. Students during the financial year under consideration, board 
पास दे बोर्ड बोर्ड रेजोल्यूशन टू सेल वन ऑफ द कंपनी अंडरटेकिंग तो यहाँ पे कंपनी की एक अंडरटेकिंग जो है वो सेल करना चाह रहा है बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स आउट ऑफ मल्टीपल अंडरटेकिंग तो कंपनी की मल्टीपल अंडरटेकिंग है मल्टीपल उसकी यूनिट्स हैं जो वो चला रही है और एक यूनिट वो उसमें से डिस्पोज ऑफ करना चाह रहे हैं वन ऑफ द डायरेक्टर्स हु इज मिस्टर रमेश अब देखो यहाँ पे नाम भी आप नोट करते जाना कि रमेश मिस्टर रमेश उसका क्या व्यू है वो अपना व्यू क्या दे रहा है कि बोर्ड कैन एक्सरसाइज दिस पावर विद द कंसेंट ऑफ शेयर होल्डर बाय वे ऑफ ऑर्डनरी रेजोल्यूशन वो कहता है इसमें ऑर्डनरी रेजोल्यूशन की जरूरत होगी एंड पासिंग ओनली बोर्ड रेजोल्यूशन वुड नॉट बी सफिशिएंट तो उसने अपना व्यू पॉइंट दिया है अदर डायरेक्टर्स ऑन द बोर्ड हाउ डिड नॉट एग्री विद हिम अदर डायरेक्टर उससे एग्री यहाँ पे नहीं कर रहे हैं द इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑफ द कंपनी इन दिंग विच हैज बीन प्रपोज टू सेल इज ट्वेंटी टू परसेंट ऑफ इट्स नेटवर्क एज पर लास्ट ऑडिटेड बैलेंस शीट ऑफ फाइनेंशियल ईयर मेगा मैडम मैं फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल केस स्टडी पूरी रीड आउट कर देता हूँ ठीक है सर उसके बाद हम वापसी लॉ पे आ जाते हैं तो स्टूडेंट्स ये इसमें ये पहरा आपका इसको हमने लॉ पे डेडिकेट कर दिया अगर मैं इसको पहरा को नंबर दे देता हूँ तो मे बी इसको तीन नंबर दे देते हैं हम से फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस इज ओनली एग्जाम्पल मतलब दिस इज नॉट एग्जैक्टली नंबर थ्री मैंने वैसे इसको थ्री दे दिया फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ लॉ ये स्टूडेंट्स फर्दर मिस्टर मेश स्टेज इन दिल्ली विद हिज वाइफ विद रिस्पेक्ट टू वन ऑफ हिज इमूवेबल हाउस प्रॉपर्टीज इन यूएसए अब हाउस प्रॉपर्टी का यहाँ पे जब आपको रेफरेंस आएगा तो आप एक तो आपका इनकम टैक्स में हाउस प्रॉपर्टी की तरफ इनकम अंडर दैट हाउस प्रॉपर्टी की तरफ ध्यान चला जाएगा और यहाँ पे हाउस प्रॉपर्टी अगर आ जाएगी तो आगे पढ़ते हैं क्या ही टूक द प्रोफेशनल सर्विसेज ऑफ कंसल्टिंग इंजीनियर मिस्टर जॉर्ज बेस अब उसने सर्विसेज ले ली तो हमारा इमीडिएटली दिमाग कहाँ चला गया हमारा दिमाग वहां पे जीएसटी पे चला गया सर्विस ले ली बिकॉज उसने मिस्टर जॉर्ज की उसने सर्विस ले ली जो कि चेन्नई में रहते हैं बेस आउट इन चेन्नई Mr George has high engineering qualification specialized background and wide experience and can plan design and supervise and help in undertaking maintenance of any type of structure according to the needs of the client so he took professional services of a consulting engineer mr george or students immovable with respect to one of his immovable property kahan pe us se bhi to uski property bahar hai aur yahan pe jo service provider kon hai george hai service recipient kon hai यहाँ पे मिस्टर रमेश है और सर्विस जो हाउस प्रॉपर्टी सर्विस इज इन रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ हाउस प्रॉपर्टी वो कहाँ पे लोकेशन है उसकी उसकी यूएसए में यूएसए में तो स्टूडेंट्स ये सारे इसके फैक्ट्स क्वेश्चन में दिया आप देखेंगे क्वेश्चन क्या आता है अभी तो ये फैक्ट्स है स्टूडेंट्स एंड क्वेश्चन सीम टू बी इन रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ जीएसटी ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट मई मिस्टर रमेश टूक आउट इज फैमिली टू एन अम्यूजमेंट पार्क लोकेटेड इन गुरुग्राम हरियाणा दिस पर्टिकुलर ये इसको मैं पैरा फोर दे देता हूँ नाम देखा मैडम इसको आप फोर पैरा फोर दे दू मिस्टर में ये जो हाउस प्रॉपर्टी से रिलेटेड पैरा इसको मैंने पैरा फोर दे दिया फॉर द कन्वीनियंस से ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट मे ट्वेंटी थ्री मिस्टर रमेश टू किस फैमिली टू एन अम्यूजमेंट पार्क लोकेटेड इन गुरुग्राम हरियाणा दिस पर्टिकुलर अम्यूजमेंट पार्क हैज वेरियस अट्रैक्शन सच एज राइड एंड गेम्स एज वेल एज अदर इवेंट फॉर एंटरटेनमेंट पर्पजेज For such visit, son of Mr. Ramesh, who stays in Jaipur for his studies, came to Delhi. Mr. Ramesh bought three tickets of amusement park. Now, students, क्या मैं आपसे question पूछ सकता हूँ कि यहाँ पे question क्या उसने ये कौन से subject से related question होगा और क्या question पूछा होगा? तो मैं आपके यहाँ पे आप query box में मुझे लिख सकते हैं, mail पे लिख सकते हैं कि क्या कौन सा subject यहाँ पे involve आपको लग रहा है? तो देखो case study मैं आपकी डीप डीप जो अंडरस्टैंडिंग है डीप नॉलेज है वो टेस्ट कर जाते हैं तो इसमें आपको बड़ा ध्यान रखना होता है जब आप केस स्टडी इट रीड कर रहे हो तो उस रीडिंग में ही आपको जो रीडिंग टाइम मिलेगा तो आप एक बार यहाँ पे ये आइडेंटिफाई कर लें स्टूडेंट्स कि कौन कौन से सब्जेक्ट उसमें इन्वॉल्व हो रहे हैं अब यहाँ पे आपको यहाँ पे ये यह पता होना चाहिए कि कौन सा सब्जेक्ट जैसे कि वहां पे काफी यहाँ पे इतनी क्लैरिटी नहीं हो रही कि कौन सा तो यहाँ पे मेरे को जो आ, मैं आपके पहले आंसर देखता हूं आप क्या देते हो यस आर देयर यस वन स्टूडेंट मिस्टर प्रसाद जी हैज रिटर्न दैट प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई वेरी गुड आंसर तो प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई यहां पे इन्वॉल्व होगा और वो देखेंगे हम जब क्वेश्चन आएगा तो क्या होगा अभी आप मैं सभी स्टूडेंट से रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा अभी आप 
अगर आपके पास केस स्टडीज का प्रिंटआउट तो आप आंसर पे मजा भी देखो क्योंकि तो आंसर देखोगे तो फिर आपको केस स्टडी करने का मजा नहीं आएगा तो अभी आप आंसर पे मत जाओ अभी आप हमारे साथ ही चलो जहां हम चल रहे हैं वहीं पे आप बैठो तो फिर केस स्टडी करने में आपको अलग तरीके का आनंद आएगा यस मेघा मैडम आप पढ़ोगे नेक्स्ट पेरा यस सर सर दैट ल्यूमिनस लिमिटेड इज बेस्ड इन डेली प्राइमरिली ड्यूरिंग द फाइनेंशियल ईयर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर द कंपनी रिसीव लीगल सर्विसेज फ्रॉम एट फ्रॉम एन अटोनी इन दुबई अनरिलेटेड पर्सन इन रिलेशन टू रजिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ कंपनीज ट्रेडमार्क इन दुबई द कंपनी पेड ए ई डी टेन थाउजेंड फॉर द सेम टू द अटोनी इन दुबई अब स्टूडेंट्स अगर आप देखो यहाँ पे दिल्ली में लुमिनस लिमिटेड बेस्ड इन दिल्ली है और कंपनी ने सीधे सीधे ये तो क्लियरली बोल रहा है आपको कि सीधे सीधे हमने लीगल सर्विसेज लिए हैं टॉर्नी से दुबई में एडवोकेट से इन रिलेशन टू रजिस्ट्रेशन ट्रेडमार्क ऑफ द कंपनी रजिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ कंपनी ट्रेडमार्क और कंपनी ने उसको पेमेंट भी की है तो यहाँ पे जीएसटी के बहुत सारे सेक्शन आप बताओ कौन कौन से यहाँ पे प्रोविजन लगेंगे और क्या क्वेश्चन यहाँ पे पूछा है वो अभी हम देखेंगे आगे ही देखेंगे और फिर आगे लॉ लॉ से रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन लग रहा है द कंपनी हैज टेन डायरेक्टर्स ऑन इट्स बोर्ड थ्री ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स हैव रिटायर्ड बाय रोटेशन एट द एजीएम कंडक्टेड रिसेंटली प्लेस ऑफ रिटायरिंग डायरेक्टर्स इज नॉट सो फिल्ड अप एंड द मीटिंग हैज आल्सो नॉट एक्सप्रेसली इट इज नॉट टू फिल द वैकेंसी सिंस द एजीएम वुड नॉट कंप्लीट द सेट बिजनेस इट वाज अडजर्न टू द सेम डे इन नेक्स्ट वीक एट द सेम टाइम एंड प्लेस At this adjourned meeting, also the place of retiring directors could not be filled up, and the meeting was has also not expressly. So, बहुत अच्छा इसने इसमें facts दिए हैं. Mega Madam Law से related. Yes. So, आप इस पे कुछ कहना चाहेंगे Mega Mega Madam? So, when we'll discuss the descriptive okay. portion, we'll discuss it perfect, in detail. Perfect. 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 Further, students, Mr. Baldev is one of the directors of the company during the financial year. कंपनी पेड इम सिटिंग फीस अब सिटिंग फीस उसने कंपनी को अब यहाँ पे ये भी नहीं पता लग रहा है ये लॉ का क्वेश्चन पूछेगा पूछा जाएगा यहाँ पे जीएसटी क्योंकि सिटिंग फीस में जो डायरेक्टर की रेमोनरेशन से रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन जीएसटी में भी बन जाता है और यहाँ पे लॉ से रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन भी बन जाता है तो यहाँ देखेंगे हम अभी आपको आंसर और क्वेश्चन अभी देखने की जल्दी मत करो और अपना खुद से अपना दिमाग से सोचो कि कैसे क्या होना चाहिए ये स्टूडेंट्स द कंपनी हैज इट्स next para last para of the case studies company has its retail showrooms in patiala and delhi and factory at ludhiana punjab during the financial year 23 24 the company has manufactured 150000 units of solar panel solar panels at its factory at ludhiana punjab the management decided to transfer half of the units manufactured to one of its retail showrooms in patiala and the second half to its retail showroom in delhi For sale, therefore, so the factory and aforesaid retail showrooms are registered under GST. So, ये तो clear cut GST का मामला है in the states where they they are located. Further, the company has obtained separate registrations under uh, GST for Ludhiana factory and Patiala showroom. So, आप देखो इसमें क्या है company के showrooms हैं Patiala और Delhi में और factory कहाँ पे है Ludhiana में और company जो है वो transfer कर रही है stock. Uh, from factory to showroom and between showrooms the management of the company understand that such transfer shall not be considered or management kehti hai ye supply nahi mani jayegi under gst as such transfer that without any to isme kaun sa kya apply hoga gst kaun se provision lagenge kya question pucha gaya hai ye sari baatein ab hum discuss karenge so having read with the case study we are we have completely uh, read the case study स्टूडेंट्स अब हम क्वेश्चन देखते हैं कि इसमें क्वेश्चन उसने किस किस पैरा पे क्या क्या क्वेश्चन बनाए हैं तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मेघा मैडम एमसीक्यू नंबर वन मेघा आप लेना चाहोगे यस मेघा मैडम एमसीक्यू वन आपको एड्रेस करेंगी कि उसमें क्या प्रोविजन लॉ के इन्वॉल्व है और yes. uh, कौन सा पैरा हमने केस स्टडी में पढ़ा है और क्या क्या ऑप्शन है ये सारी बातें मेघा मैडम आपसे डिस्कस करेंगे Dear students, if we look in the uh, multiple choice question, the first question, if we read, it is written here that is understanding of Mr. Ramesh for obtaining prior consent for selling one of the undertakings of the company. Correct, considering the fact that Luminous Limited is not a private company. So we have read the complete case study. The question is based on prior consent for selling one of the undertakings. So for after reading the MCQs, 
we will first read the only question not we will not go to the options of the mcq first of all we have read the question of the mcq now we will move towards the case study we have to again read that paragraph of our case study for better understanding of that mcq if we read from the uh, case study once again we can see that during the financial year under consideration, uh, consideration the board of directors of the company passed a board resolution to sell one of the company's undertaking out of the multiple undertakings of the company okay one of the directors of the company mr ramesh is of the view that the board can exercise this power with the consent of shareholders by way of an ordinary resolutions here we can see that two things are specified here that consent of shareholders and then the by way of an ordinary resolution and passing only a board resolution would not be sufficient so dear students if we look at this paragraph here two to three concepts of the company law are covered first of all uh, the question of this mcq is covered under your chapter 3 that is powers of board and its restrictions okay the third chapter of self paced module a chapter 3 meetings okay this is a very important chapter so go kindly go through chapter 1 chapter 2 chapter 3 perfectly because so many questions are covered on these three chapters nigam That... madam ek minute ke liye main intervene kar yes. raha hu so students jaisa ki aap sabko malum hai ki ye set b ka paper hai set a, set a, set a ka set paper a. hai students set a ka paper hai to abhi aap core papers ki taiyari ke sath sath ye paper nahi pad rahe honge ये पेपर अभी आपका शुरू आपने नहीं किया होगा स्टूडेंट्स तो इसको जो मेघा मैडम आपको बता रहे हैं ये सारी बातें आप ध्यान से नोट करना और जो मेघा मैडम बोल रहे हैं ना आपको कि ये चैप्टर का क्वेश्चन है तो आपको वो चैप्टर ओपन करके एक बार रीड आउट जरूर करना चाहिए आज ही तो ये मेरी सभी स्टूडेंट्स को जो कि अभी लेक्चर देख रहे हैं बाद में भी देखेंगे तो तभी कोई एडवाइस है कि आप ये चैप्टर जो मेघा मैडम की इंस्ट्रक्शन को स्ट्रिक्टली फॉलो करना तो आपका साथ साथ फिर एक लर्निंग बैकग्राउंड लर्निंग बेस इस सेट ए का भी बनता जाएगा यस yes. और yes. अगर हम देखेंगे इस पैराग्राफ में जैसे कंसेंट ऑफ शेयर होल्डर्स है ऑर्डनरी रिजोल्यूशन ऑल दीज प्रोविजन आर इंटर रिलेटेड द सम प्रोविजन आर कवर्ड इन योर इंटर स्टडी मटीरियल बिकॉज इंटर स्टडी मटीरियल में वी हैव कवर्ड अप टू सेक्शन वन फोर्टी एट एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम सेक्शन वन फोर्टी नाइन दैट इज कवर्ड इन योर सेल्फ बेस्ड मॉड्यूल सो अपार्ट अलॉन्ग विथ सेल्फ पेज मॉड्यूल यू शुड हैव द नॉलेज आपने अभी तक वन फोर्टी एट सेक्शन पढ़े हैं तो आपको एक नॉलेज हो गई होगी कि कंपनी का फ्रेमवर्क कैसे चलता है हाउ द कंपनी मूव हाउ द डे टू डे ट्रांजेक्शन आर बींग फॉलोड सो अगर जैसे आपने इंटरमीडिएट यू आर द इंटरमीडिएट पास स्टूडेंट्स यू हैव कम टू द पेपर फॉर सिक्स आपने देखा होगा कि कंपनी the 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 overall framework of the company has been divided. The powers of the company has been divided into two parts. The power first part That powers which only board of directors can do. Okay, क्या ये concept क्यों है board of directors and shareholders का? Because shareholders कौन होते हैं हमारे members जो हमारे shares purchase करते हैं and who are the board of directors? The board of directors are the persons who the shareholders appoint for dealing with the day to day affairs of the company. हमारे जो shareholders हैं, they cannot come daily to the company. They cannot manage the affairs. so they simply appoint the board of directors okay to hamare company jo hamara share holders hai company law hai wo hamare company ke day to day affairs ko they divide the company day to day items the business transactions into two parts first powers which have to be done by the board of directors which jo normal aapki transactions hain wo aap board of directors kar sakta hai kuch powers there are certain powers which only shareholders can do अगर हम सारी की सारी पावर्स इफ वी गिव ऑल द पावर्स टू द बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स तो बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स कैन मिस यूज दैट पावर्स ओके तो द कंपनी लॉ हैज डिवाइडेड द पावर्स इनटू टू सेक्शंस दैट सेक्शन वन इज सेक्शन 179 दैट डील्स विद द पावर्स ऑफ द बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स व्हिच दे कैन डू एट देयर ओन व्हिच फॉर व्हिच दे हैव टू पास द बोर्ड रिजोल्यूशन ओनली रिजोल्यूशन के लिए आई विल कम लेटर ऑन आफ्टर दिस कांसेप्ट ऑफ पावर्स and second there are second lot of powers which the shareholders can do shareholders kaise karenge like board of directors ne aapko dekha ki koi transaction they have to clear they kuch unko invest karna hai ya some borrow karna hai to uske liye they have to pass an ordinary resolution or a special resolution at the general meeting general meeting there are two types of meeting board meeting board meeting mein kya hota hai 
ओनली बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर सेट एंड बोर्ड रिजोल्यूशन इज पास ओके तो अगर हम देखेंगे तो टू पावर्स आर देयर सेक्शन 179 सेवेंटी नाइन दैट इज बोर्ड एंड सेक्शन 180 एटी दैट वी डील्स विथ जर्नल मीटिंग जर्नल मीटिंग क्या होती है जर्नल मीटिंग हमारी शेयर होल्डर्स की होती है ओके okay? तो अगर हम देखेंगे 179 के अंदर क्या क्या पावर्स है 179 के अगर हम देखें डिटेल में दैट इज कवर्ड इन योर चैप्टर थ्री इफ वी गो इन टू डिटेल सेक्शन 179 के अंदर देर आर सर्टेन पावर्स विच ओनली बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स कैन डू फॉर दैट दे हैव टू पास ओनली बोर्ड रिजोल्यूशन नो ऑर्डनरी रिजोल्यूशन नो स्पेशल रिजोल्यूशन किसका रिजोल्यूशन चाहिए बोर्ड रिजोल्यूशन का वो अपनी बोर्ड रिजोल्यूशन आपकी बोर्ड मीटिंग के लिए सेपरेट प्रोविजन है कि वंस आपको फुल फाइनेंशियल ईयर में फोर बोर्ड मीटिंग्स हैव टू कंडक्ट ओके सो दीज आर द फोरम रिलेटेड प्रोविजन आल्सो तो अगर हम मूविंग टू 179 अगर हम देखें तो व्हाट आर द पावर्स व्हिच आर ओनली विद द बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स दैट आर टू मेक कॉल ऑन शेयर होल्डर्स अगर कुछ शेयर होल्डर्स में की कॉल्स अनपेड है तो बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स कैन कॉल द शेयर होल्डर टू रिपे द अनपेड अमाउंट Second one is to authorize buyback of shares. There are certain powers like to issue securities, to borrow monies. These all these can be done by board of directors. Like to invest the funds of the company, to make, to grant loans, or sometimes the company is required to some loan or providing guarantee. So the board of directors can do. But there are also some restrictions. Moving, we will move to section one eighty also to approve financial statements and board resolution. Like for every year. we have to make the financial statements and the same have to approve in the agm but ye approve first level pe aapka jo hota hai wo aapne intermediate mein padha hoga the first level approval is done by the board of directors through board report then later on at the last then it, um, by the auditors also and then at the end it is approved at the agm okay then to diversify the business uh, sometimes sometimes the business uh, the directors want that object thoda sa hame business ko aur badhana hai company ka jo transactions hai usko thoda badhana hai to board of directors can do through the board of uh, resolution then to amalgamate or to merger or reconstruction that the board of directors can do at their own to take over or acquire or sometimes the company wants to politically contribute in some political contribution or to appoint or remove kmp or to appoint internal auditors so this is the framework of section 179 that these are the powers which only board of directors can do with their power only at the board meeting for these powers the company the board of directors is not required to go to the general meeting to go to the shareholders ab in kitne beautiful students aapko samjhaya hai ki कौन से डिसीजन है जो बोर्ड इंडिपेंडेंट मेगा मैडम ने तो आपको बिल्कुल एक लॉजिक से एक्सप्लेन कर दिया इनफैक्ट लॉ में लॉजिक नहीं चलता <laughs> लेकिन आप देखो मेगा मैडम ने आपको कैसे समझा दिया स्टूडेंट्स तो आप ये चीजें बड़ी इंपॉर्टेंट है और अभी ये सेट ए का पेपर है स्टूडेंट आप इसकी तो आप ये वाली अंडरस्टैंडिंग अगर आप एक बार बना लेंगे जो आपको दी जा रही है और आप बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स की जो मेगा मैडम बता रहे हैं कि कैसे बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स अपने आप से डिसीजन कौन कौन से ले सकते हैं और जो शेयर होल्डर्स की मीटिंग में जाने जरूरी नहीं है स्टूडेंट्स तो अभी तो इस के स्टडी में तो ये क्वेश्चन पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन पूछा गया तो लेफ्ट राइट से आपको आगे पीछे से सब उसको स्टडी कर लेना चाहिए और जो समझा रहे हैं उसको अच्छी तरह से और जो चैप्टर का नाम बताया है उसको भी आप अच्छी तरह से एक बार देख लेना यस यू कैन सेक्शन 179 हमने देख लिया अब जो हम जैसे सर ने बताया कि हमें उसके आगे पीछे के सेक्शंस भी देखने हैं वी हैव टू लुक द इन इन रिलेटेड सेक्शंस आल्सो 179 हमने थोड़ा सा रिलेटेड था वो पढ़ लिया नाउ मूविंग टू द मेन सेक्शन दैट इज पर्टेनिंग टू दैट एमसीक्यू इज सेक्शन 180 अब मैंने आपको बताया आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू दैट देयर आर सर्टेन पावर्स व्हिच ओनली बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स बट देयर आर सर्टेन पावर्स फॉर व्हिच द बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स हैव टू पास एन ऑर्डिनरी रिजोल्यूशन और अ स्पेशल रिजोल्यूशन दैट टू रिजोल्यूशन कहाँ पास हो सकते हैं ओनली एट द जनरल मीटिंग जनरल मीटिंग किसकी होती है जनरल मीटिंग होती है शेयर होल्डर्स की ओके तो देर आर सर्टन आइटम्स उसके लिए वी हैव टू गो टू द शेयर होल्डर्स फॉर देयर अप्रूवल सो हमारा सेक्शन वन एटी कवर्स रिस्ट्रिक्शन ऑन पावर्स ऑफ द बोर्ड दीज आर टाइप्स ऑफ रिस्ट्रिक्शन की जो बोर्ड अपने आप नहीं कर सकता विच द बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स कैन नॉट डू ऑन देयर ओन 
for that items the board of directors have to go to the shareholders at the general meeting by passing an ordinary resolution or special resolution so what are the powers which are covered under section 180 the first power that we have to take approval of the general meeting is to sell lease or otherwise dispose of the whole or substantially the whole of the undertaking of the company here the question is also talks about selling of one of the undertaking and the 180 the agar hum uh, sub section 1 ka clause a dekhein to first a clause a mentions directly that for selling leasing or otherwise disposing of the undertaking of the company the board of directors have to pass an special resolution okay not on its own they have to pass the special resolution i will come to special resolution also ki what is special resolution is some students have forgotten in the intermediate uh, examination to first power hamari company ki kya hai direct company jo kar sakta hai agar if the company wants if the board of directors want to sell one of the undertaking to they have to go to the general meeting and pass an order pass an special resolution अब इसके अंदर अगर हम सेक्शन को डिटेल में पढ़ेंगे तो हमारा इसमें ये भी इट इज आल्सो मेंशन दैट अंडरटेकिंग कितनी हो सकती है समटाइम्स द अंडरटेकिंग द जो हमारा कंपनी अंडरटेकिंग की जो वैल्यू है दैट इज फाइव परसेंट टू परसेंट तो दैट इज नॉट मेजर दैट इज नॉट वेरी क्रूशियल तो फॉर दैट पर्पज द कंपनी लॉ सेक्शन वन एटी प्रिस्क्राइब दैट इफ द एक्सीड इफ द अंडरटेकिंग इन्वेस्टमेंट इन दैट अंडरटेकिंग एक्सीड्स ट्वेंटी exceeds 20% then the company then the board of directors has to go to the company and pass a special resolution that means if the investment in said undertaking of the company is below 20% then the board of directors can do that item on their own but since the company law specifies that the that the investment in that undertaking if exceeding 20% then it the board of directors has to go to the company and pass a special resolution and in the in our in the said mcq in the said paragraph we can say that the investment of the company in the said undertaking which has been proposed to sell is 22% of its net worth so we can see that here the special resolution has to pass but the board of the ramesh is saying that only is ordinary resolution so that means he is incorrect अभी हम वी विल गो इन फर्दर डिटेल्स कि व्हाट इज द क्वेश्चन स्पेसिफाइज बट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल अगर हमने पैराग्राफ पढ़ा है एंड वी हैव एन अंडरस्टैंडिंग फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ सेक्शन 180 180 ऑफ द कंपनीज एक्ट 2013 तो वी हैव एन क्लैरिटी वी हैव अ क्लैरिटी दैट इन दिस केस सिंस द इन्वेस्टमेंट इज एक्सीडिंग 20% इट इज 22% दो बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स हैज टू गो टू द जनरल मीटिंग बाय पासिंग अ स्पेशल रिजोल्यूशन ओके so second power humne dekh liya first power is selling or disposing of the undertaking the second power which for which the board of directors has to go to the company is to invest otherwise in trust securities the third power is borrow money this is a very important clause if we look at this provision there are so many questions in our test our knowledge direct descriptive questions are also there calculation based like if the company wants to borrow there is a certain limit if the borrowing limit is up to paid up share capital free reserves and securities premium then the company is not then the board of directors is not required to go to the company but if the borrowing is exceeding the aggregate of share capital free reserve and securities premium then the board of directors has to go to the shareholders by passing an ordinary and or special resolution as the case may be the uh, fourth power that the board of directors cannot do on their own is to remit or give time for the repayment or any debt due from a director agar hum ye power bhi if this power is also with the directors so they will not repay the loan given to them okay so that power the shareholder the company law has provided to the shareholders like if any debt is repayable by a director then it cannot be remitted or its repayment time cannot be extended unless passing by passing a special resolution given by the company company means general meeting okay 
So we have seen that under section 180, four powers, around four powers are there, selling or disposing of in undertaking, then invest otherwise in trust securities to borrow money, to remit or give time. So, or one more thing, here the question is specified that 22% uh, of its net worth, that this net worth we have also read in the study in the intermediate, Net worth kya hoti hai? Net worth waise hamare question mein it's already given 20% of the net worth but details agar hume concept clear karna hai more conceptual clarity to we can say that net worth is covered under section 2 subsection 56, 57 sub clause 57 of the company Z. Net worth means the aggregate of the paid up share capital reserves, free reserves which is ready for distribution and third is your securities premium account and some items which have to which we have to reduce from these aggregate is your uh, accumulated losses deferred expenditure or some miscellaneous expenditure so we have discussed the definition of net worth also but that is not required i just tell you about regarding the concept clarity ki what is net worth so now there are two types of resolutions ordinary resolution and simple resolution uh, special resolution ye bhi students aapko pata hoga ki special resolution and ordinary resolution mein what is the difference if the company law specifies that certain item has to be passed by ordinary resolution then in in that case the aggregate the uh, votes in favor of that uh, item is simple 50 percent that means if 100 shareholders are there in the journal meeting. Sabse pehle resolution aapka journal meeting mein hoga. If there are 100 shareholders, that means simple majority means 51 shareholders are in favor of that resolution and 49 are against. Then the said item can be passed. Now moving to what is special resolution. Special resolution mein there are three times majority. Like that we can say simply 75% of the members 75 percent of the shareholders has to be in favor for that item like we uh, supposing we are taking the same example 100 shareholders are there so that means 75 around se uh, 75 members should be in favor of that item and 25 are against so that means we can consider that that item is passed by special resolution special resolution ke liye there are some uh, more requirements are there like it has to be specified in the notice notice aapko pata hoga for, for uh, when whenever we are conducting a board meeting whenever we are conducting a journal meeting we have to give a notice to the shareholders telling about what are the items to be discussed what are the resolutions to be discussed so uh, length agar hum dekhe, notice hume kab pass karna padta it is covered in the intermediate that is 21 days to ye sare jo basic concepts hain that is clear in your mind we are not uh, we are not going to ask you intermediate questions but these are the basic knowledge of the company law provisions okay so agar hum dekhe to length of the notice kya hota hai 21 days hume 21 days pehle meeting se before 21 days we have to send a mess, uh, notice and if we are about to pass a special resolution, so we have to mention in that notice that we are passing a special resolution and along with the special uh, resolution, we have to give an explanatory statement. Explanatory statement along with the reasons that why we are passing this special resolution, what is the purpose behind it? So we have seen the difference between ordinary resolution and special resolution. Now moving back to the paragraph we can see that one of the direct uh, sell one of the un companies undertaking okay mr ramesh is of the view that board can exercise this power with the consent with the shareholders by way of an ordinary resolution and passing only a board resolution would not be sufficient this he is correct that board resolution is not only sufficient but the problem is where the problem is here ordinary resolution he is thinking he is of the opinion that this for this item the resolution required is only ordinary resolution moving to uh, uh, further the other directors on the board however did not agree with him the investment has been proposed to sell is 22 percent of its net worth Humne, we have discussed that if the investment 
of the company in said undertaking is above 20 percent then the spatial resolution is required now we will come to the our mcq yes now we will again read the mcq first is understanding of mr ramesh for obtaining prior consent for selling one of the undertakings of the company correct considering the fact that luminous limited is not a private company or uh, dear student also that section 180 is not applicable to the private company but here the luminous limited is not a private company it's a public limited company so section 180 of the companies that will apply here now we will read one of our, our four options we have to read all the four questions simultaneously sometimes kya hota hai? student ne first uh, read uh, provision uh, option a usko laga ki yes a to mera bilkul correct hai usme in spite of looking at all the three options he just gave the answer a but all these options are closed okay so before taking the correct option we are you we request you to kindly go through all the options students bada important point hai students jo mega madam ne bataya abhi aapko ki mcq solve karne ke liye hamesha make it a point students aap ise note kar le achhi tarah se apne mind mein ki आपको सारे ऑप्शंस पढ़े बिना टिक नहीं लगाना ये बहुत 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 इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट है स्टूडेंट्स सारे ऑप्शंस आप पहले एक बार केयरफुली देख लें बिकॉज़ ऑप्शंस मेगा मैडम कह रहे हैं क्लोज होते हैं बिल्कुल ठीक कहा कि क्लोज होते हैं उनमें माइनर डिफरेंसेस होते हैं कई बार आप जल्दी में टिक कर जाते हो फिर वहां पे आपको शीट मिल ये लेकिन इस पेपर में तो खैर आप वैसे होएगा लेकिन और पेपर्स में भी आप ध्यान रखना कि आपको एक शीट पे टिक कर वहां पे सर्कल ओएमआर शीट पे आपको फिल करना होता है वहां पे उसको फिर तो एक बार आप कर लोगे तो फिर चेंज करना पॉसिबल भी नहीं हो yes. पाता है इसलिए स्टूडेंट्स केयरफुल रहे इस बारे में यस यस फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इफ वी लुक नो एज द ओनली बोर्ड रिजोल्यूशन इज रिक्वायर्ड इन दिस केस व्हिच हैज बीन ड्यूली पास्ड नो दिस इज नॉट द करेक्ट ऑप्शन बिकॉज़ द इट सेज दैट ओनली बोर्ड रिजोल्यूशन इज रिक्वायर्ड सो दिस इज इनकरेक्ट ऑप्शन मूविंग टू ऑप्शन बी no as the board can exercise this power with the consent of shareholders by passing a special resolution and not on its own simply by passing an ordinary resolution students aap agar case study agar aap answer nahi dekh rahe to aap yahan pe answer apne likh ke bhejo na kaun sa hona chahiye aap ne tick kar diya mega madam koi baat nahi abhi tak a aur b mein agar main dekhu to a in a and b b is the more appropriate answer but i have not read the option c and d till now Okay. 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 Yes. Moving to option C. Yes, his under understanding is correct. No, his understanding is not correct because he is thinking about ordinary resolution. But here the act says, the company that says that it should be special resolution. So that ye C wala option bhi aapka incorrect hai. Moving to partially, uh, moving to option D. Partially correct as the board shall exercise the powers with the consent of the company by an ordinary resolution and not only by passing a board resolution at a board meeting. But the prior approval of the registrar of companies is also required. Here the question does not require, here the act is, does not require that for selling its undertaking, the company has to go to the ROC. So if we look at four options, we can see that option B is the correct option. The company, the board of directors for certain powers has to go to the company. And since this provision, this uh, item is based on selling or disposing of the undertaking, the investment of the company is exceeding 20%. So the board of directors has to go to the shareholders, to the general meeting. They have to conduct a general meeting. They have to send a notice. And in that notice, Special resolution is required, so they have to. We have to mention that special resolution is required in that portion. And if the company in the general meeting, the shareholders passed that resolution by seventy-five percent majority, then only the company can sell its undertaking. Yes, students. After this, we will take a break for five minutes, and then we will continue.
जरा आप सेकंड से स्टार्ट कर दीजिएगा मेरा अब आएगा डिस्क्रिप्टिव पोर्शन तो मैं शुरू बोल सकता हूं सुन रहे हैं जी मनीष जी आर वी लाइव यस वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स नाउ कमिंग टू क्वेश्चन नंबर टू ऑफ द केस स्टडी वट इज द प्लेस क्वेश्चन नंबर टू क्या पूछा है वट इज द प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई विद प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई स्टूडेंट्स आपका चैप्टर नंबर थ्री है जीएसटी में और प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई से जो क्वेश्चन है विद रिस्पेक्ट टू प्रोफेशनल सर्विस रेंडर्ड बाय मिस्टर जॉर्ज टू मिस्टर रमेश कहता है प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई चेन्नई दिल्ली यूएसए प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई नॉट ये ऑप्शन है डिफरेंट स्टूडेंट अब आप अगर केस स्टडी में जाते हैं उसका रेलेवेंट पार्ट अगर देखते हैं तो क्या है मिस्टर जॉर्ज से रिलेटेड मिस्टर रमेश इज स्टेइंग इन दिल्ली तो प्लेस ऑफ रेसिपियंट ऑफ सर्विस इज इन दिल्ली विद रिस्पेक्ट टू वन ऑफ इज और हिज द रिलेटिंग टू दिस सर्विस इज रिलेटेड टू इमूवेबल प्रॉपर्टी विच इज लोकेटेड इन यूएसए He took the professional services of a consulting engineer. Students, ये IGST आपको सबको मालूम है that in respect of place of supply, IGST act is relevant, and in respect of where place of supply, uh, in case of place of supply, where location of supplier of service, and the location of the recipients of service. both is in india where the location of supplier of service who is the supplier of service george who is the recipient of service mr ramesh ramesh is staying in delhi and george is staying in chennai so both are in india if the location of the supplier of the service and the location of the recipient both इज लोकेशन दोनों की इंडिया में स्टूडेंट्स देन सेक्शन 12 ऑफ द आईजीएसटी एक्ट इज एप्लीकेबल एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर केस स्टूडेंट्स द लोक द सर्विस इज इन रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ ए इमूवेबल इन रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ इमूवेबल प्रॉपर्टी एंड द व्हेन द सर्विस इज इन रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ इमूवेबल प्रॉपर्टी द प्लेस सेक्शन 12 सब सेक्शन 3 बिकम्स एप्लीकेबल which says and the clause a of section 12 subsection 3 clause a states so is case me students is case me students section 12 me agar aap jayenge section 12 सेक्शन वन मिनट स्टूडेंट्स सेक्शन ट्वेल्व आई थिंक समथिंग इज गोइंग रॉन्ग स्टूडेंट्स जस्ट वेट सेक्शन ट्वेल्व सब सेक्शन थ्री क्लॉज ए स्टेट्स प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई ऑफ सर्विस place of supply of service sub section 3 clause a it is in respect of para 4 we are writing this directly in relation to the place of supply of services directly in relation to an immovable property this is the immovable property including services provided by architects interior decorators surveyor engineers and other related experts or estate agents any service provided by way of grant of rights to use immovable property or for carrying out coordination to so, yahan pe aap dekh rahe hain consulting engineer hai mr george consulting engineer 
So he is providing, so this is covered in 12, 3 sub clause A. And where the location? Is me students 12, 3 A ka ek proviso has students, which provides that, provided that if the location of the immovable property is outside India, then the place of supply, because the location of the immovable house property is outside India, so provido applicable ho jayega students. So aap application samajh rahe hai students iski. Kaise isko humne apply karna hai. So place of supply students, yahaan pe kya hoga? Place of supply shall be the location of the recipient. So recipient students ko hona yahaan pe? Recipient hai Mr. Ramesh. Or Mr. Ramesh kaha pe rehte hai? Dilli mein rehte hai. So iska answer student hona chahi, Dilli hona chahi iska answer. So, ये पेज नंबर 3.20 और 3.21 पे अगर आप GST मॉड्यूल uh, 1 के अंदर अगर आप देखेंगे, वहाँ पे आप ये वाला ये आंसर पे अराइव कर पाएंगे स्टूडेंट्स। So, ये वाली बातें हैं इसमें स्टूडेंट्स। अगर हम MCQ को देखते हैं अभी, What is the place of supply with respect to professional services rendered by Mr. George to Mr. Mesh? तो आंसर हमारा निकल के आ रहा है। नहीं है, दिल्ली, � USA place not real. So, this answer is not real. So, this is not real. We have to decide what we have to decide. Now, we have to decide what we have to decide. Now, we have to decide B. Delhi. The place of supply of services directly in relation to an immovable property. Clause A. This is clause A. Directly in relation to an immovable property. Including services provided by architects, interior decorators, surveyor, engineers, and wo jo maine aapko bhi padke sunaya. Any service provided by rights, grant of rights to use immobility or for carrying out coordination of construction work. So, isme students shall be the location at which the property. So, agar ye wala case hai, to shall be the location at which immobile property is situated. लेकिन यहां पे क्या है यहां पे प्रोविजन क्यों लग गया बिकॉज़ द लोकेशन ऑफ इमोवेबल प्रॉपर्टीज आउटसाइड इंडिया इसलिए यहां पे प्रोविजन लग गया प्रोवाइडेड दैट इफ द लोकेशन ऑफ द इमोवेबल प्रॉपर्टी और बोर्ड और वेसल इज लोकेटेड और इंटेंड लोकेटेड आउटसाइड इंडिया द प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई शैल बी देखो यहां पे क्या लिख रहा है आउट आउटसाइड इंडिया लोकेटेड आउटसाइड इंडिया तो प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई शैल बी लोकेशन ऑफ द रेसिपिएंट तो यहां पे इसलिए दिल्ली आंसर आया स्टूडेंट्स I hope this is clear to you all. Should we move to next MCQ students? Sir, one, we have received two, three queries. Yes, Can yes. Take it? Yes. yes sir. sir, one student is asking, uh, what will be the structure of 15 marks descriptive questions? 15 marks descriptive questions, students. Please remember, 5, 5, 5, 3 questions ho sakte hai. 7, 8 ka structure bhi hai. 7 marks yes. ka one question or 8 marks ka dutra question. Yes, 6. Four, five, भी हो सकता है. There are three to four. So, कोई भी combination हो सकता है students इसमें मैं कोई define नहीं कर सकता. Yes. So, five marks minimum तो देखो four marks question होएगा. Four marks से कम नहीं होना चाहिए और maximum eight marks का question हो सकता है. तो इसमें कोई ऐसी limit limit नहीं लगाई है हमने. तो three four questions हो सकते हैं. Yes. Three four subparts descriptive questions can be there. Hmm. Sir, one student Miss Mansha is asking, can we refer November twenty three recorded lectures for law subject? Dear student, uh, till the time the self-paced online modules is not has been not launched, the online lectures has not been uploaded. You can refer the November twenty three recorded lectures for the for self-paced A set A. Uh, when and whenever the online modules are, are launched on the website, you can refer the latest one also. Sir, uh, Miss Seema Suresh Sharma, hmm. sir, I have cleared group one. 10 years back, hmm. how do hmm. I approach group 1 subjects now? Look, it is like I told you, I have told you, I have told you, I have told you, I have because you have 10 years before, so you have to do a little bit of India again, because it was accounting standard based before. So, without conceptual clarity, I am saying one thing, I am saying one thing, I am saying one thing, I am saying one Conceptual clarity के बिना ये subject handle करना मुश्किल हो जाता है और अगर आप conceptual clarity एक बार because देखो good part क्या है इसमें बहुत अच्छी बात कि इसमें open book examination हो रहा है और 
आपको करना क्या कंसेप्चुअल क्लैरिटी करनी है उसके बाद यहाँ पे आप देख रहे हो आपने अभी देखा जो हम केस स्टडी हैंडल कर रहे हैं इसमें एक एक स्टेप पे कैसे कंसेप्चुअल क्लैरिटी की बातें हो रही हैं अगर कंसेप्चुअल क्लैरिटी नहीं है तो आप एक भी क्वेश्चन आंसर नहीं कर पा रहे आप देखो आप जैसे हम कर पा रहे हैं ट्वेल्व में फिर वो थ्री में गया आईजीएसटी एक्ट सेक्शन ट्वेल्व फिर सब सेक्शन थ्री फिर क्लॉज ए वहां पे भी आंसर नहीं निकला फिर प्रोविजो में जाके आंसर निकल रहा है तो आप देख रहे हो स्टूडेंट्स कैसे क्वेश्चन पूछे जा रहे हैं कितनी बारीकी से क्वेश्चन पूछे जा रहे हैं तो उस डेप्थ तक आपको जाके फाइनल लेवल है क्योंकि आपको स्टडी करनी चाहिए और जैसा कि शिल्पा मैडम ने बताया कुछ इंडिया जैसे आप सराश में से कर सकते हैं लेकिन एक बार कंसेप्चुअल क्लैरिटी तो आपको करनी चाहिए दिस इज वट आई सपोज सर अकॉर्डिंग टू मी ऑल्सो सर फोर सब्जेक्ट देर आर फोर और थ्री सब्जेक्ट सर वो तो आपको कॉन्सेप्ट क्लैरिटी तो आपको चारों से चारों सब्जेक्ट्स की चाहिए बिकॉज नाउ आफ्टर पासिंग ग्रुप टू यू विल गो फॉर योर इंटरव्यू और यू विल स्टार्ट योर प्रैक्टिस तो ये चारों सब्जेक्ट्स आपको फिर भी पढ़ने पड़ेंगे आफ्टर टेन ईयर्स आपको अपने आप को अपडेट रखना है यू हैव टू कीप योर सेल्फ अपडेटेड सो दे आप ये मत सोचो कि यू हैव टू रेफर ऑल दीज प्रोविजन ऑल दीज सब्जेक्ट्स फॉर आई नो बच्चे यू हैव टू रीड ऑल दीज सब्जेक्ट्स फॉर योर यू हैव टू अपडेट योर After passing group टू you have to go for some some interview or you will start some your practice. तो वैसे भी आपको ये सब चीजें पढ़नी ही है So for IBS ये आप एक बार पढ़ लीजिए But for your own knowledge, for your updation, it is required. Yes. So should we move ahead? Yes. What is the place MCQ3. of supply? MCQ three is what is the place of supply with respect to tickets bought by Mr. Ramesh for amusement? ये GST place of supply students अगर आपने पढ़ा है तो ये स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड क्वेश्चन है तो इसमें मैं आपको बता देता हूं इस इसके अंदर हमारा कौन सा पहरा इन्वॉल्व है ये स्टडी में देखोगे अगर आप ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट मई ट्वेंटी थ्री मिस्टर मेश टुक हिज फैमिली टू एन एम्यूजमेंट पार्क लोकेटेड इन गुरुग्राम हरियाणा अब अम्यूजमेंट पार्क कहां पे लोकेटेड है स्टूडेंट्स गुरुग्राम लुधियाना सॉरी हरियाणा दिस पर्टिकुलर अम्यूजमेंट पार्क हैज वेरियस अट्रैक्शन सच एज राइट दिस 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 फॉर एंटरटेनमेंट फॉर सच विजिट सन ऑफ मिस्टर रमेश हैज आल्सो कम फ्रॉम जयपुर एंड मिस्टर रमेश हैज गॉट थ्री टिकट्स फॉर अम्यूजमेंट पार्क कहां पे है अब देखो ये स्ट्रेट क्वेश्चन है अगर आपने जीएसटी अगर आपने कंसेप्चुअल अंडरस्टैंडिंग कर ली है आपने अच्छे से पढ़ लिया प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई तो स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड वो क्वेश्चन अब देखो ये आपने पैरा पढ़ा अब क्वेश्चन पे आ जाते हैं कि प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई विद रिस्पेक्ट टू टिकट्स बॉर्ड बाय मिस्टर रमेश फॉर द अम्यूजमेंट अम्यूजमेंट पार्क अब इसमें सेक्शन 12 ही एप्लीकेबल है स्टूडेंट्स और उसका सब सेक्शन सिक्स इन्वॉल्व है जो क्या कहता है प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सर्विसेज सर्विसेज बाय वे ऑफ एडमिशन टू वेरियस सर्विसेज Provided by admission to amusement park, सीधा लिखा हुआ है. Services provided by way of admission to amusement park or any other place is the place a place of service क्या है? Where the event is actually held. अब event क्या कहाँ पे हो रहा है? Or where the park or such other place is located. Where the park is located. Now अब आपको question में ये देखना है कि ये amusement park located कहाँ पर है? तो अभी आपने क्वेश्चन के अंदर देखा कि अम्यूजमेंट पार्क कहां पे लोकेटेड है अम्यूजमेंट पार्क गुरुग्राम लुधियाना के अंदर हरियाणा के अंदर लोकेटेड है तो अगर आप यहां पे देखो ऑप्शन में आपको क्या ढूंढना है आपने देखना है गुरुग्राम ऑप्शन है या नहीं बी ऑप्शन गुरुग्राम है तो सीधे सीधे आपका पहली ऑप्शन दिल्ली है फिर विद रिस्पेक्ट टू टिकट दिस एंड इधर दिल्ली और गुरुग्राम तो यहाँ पे हमारा सीधा आंसर क्या आ रहा है सी का आंसर क्या है बी है तो सेक्शन ट्वेल्थ सब सेक्शन सिक्स के बेस पे यहां पे हमने आंसर निकाला गुरुग्राम करना मेखा ठीक yes. तो आप देख रहे हैं कैसे अगर आपने सेक्शन पढ़ा है अच्छी तरह से स्टडी किया तभी आप आंसर दे पाओ अब आप, आपको पता होना चाहिए क्वेश्चन ऐसे किस कंटेक्स्ट में फ्रेम कैसे और क्या कौन सा पैरा आपका इन्वॉल्व है इसमें केस स्टडी का और क्या उसमें प्लेस है और अगर आपने प्रोविजन स्पेसिफिकली नहीं स्टडी किए डीप में जाके तो आप फिर आप क्वेश्चन आंसर नहीं कर पाएंगे मैं बार बार एक ही बात कह रहा हूं स्टूडेंट्स कि कंसेप्चुअल क्लैरिटी बहुत जरूरी है तभी आप आंसर कर पाओगे यस कमिंग टू क्वेश्चन नंबर रीजन हाँ रीजन मैं आपको समझा दिया स्टूडेंट्स 
प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई ऑफ फॉलोइंग सर्विसेज आंसर में अगर आप देखेंगे तो इसमें सेकेंड पॉइंट अगर आप देखेंगे सर्विसेज प्रोवाइडेड बाय वे ऑफ एडमिशन टू म्यूजमेंट पार्क और एनी अदर प्लेस इज द प्लेस वेयर द इवेंट इज एक्चुअली हेल्ड और वेयर द पार्क और सच अदर प्लेस इज लोकेटेड वेयर द पार्क इज लोकेटेड एडमिशन टू अम्यूजमेंट पार्क दिस इज अबाउट क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री आई होप आपने अंडरस्टैंड कर लिया आपकी स्टडी मटेरियल में मैं बता देता हूँ पेज नंबर थ्री पॉइंट थ्री फोर पे ये बात लिखी हुई है अगर आप थ्री पॉइंट थ्री फोर अच्छी तरह से आप जो मैं पेज नंबर बता रहा हूँ एक बार आप जाके उसको स्टडी जरूर करिएगा यस नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अगेन रिलेटेड टू जीएसटी जीएसटी विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू जीएसटी लाइबिलिटी इन केस ऑफ फीस पे टू मिस्टर बलदेव अब बलदेव को आपने उसमें देखा है जो हम कह रहे थे लॉ का क्वेश्चन है कोई और भी हो सकता है ये पेज नंबर दिस इज फर्दर मिस्टर बलदेव इज वन ऑफ द डायरेक्टर बलदेव कौन है वन ऑफ द डायरेक्टर ऑफ द कंपनी है और ड्यूरिंग द फाइनेंशियल ईयर आप देख रहे हो कि उसको सिटिंग फीस पे हुई है स्टूडेंट अब यहां पे डायरेक्टर रेमोनरेशन की अगर मैं बात करूं यहां पे स्टूडेंट्स अगर आप बात अब क्वेश्चन देखते हैं क्या इसने फ्रेम किया विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज करेक्ट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू जीएसटी लाइबिलिटी इन केस ऑफ फीस पेड सेटिंग फीस जो उसे पे हुई है अब सेटिंग फीस अगर आपने डायरेक्टर रेमोनरेशन आप पेज नंबर स्टूडेंट इसमें जाएंगे टू ऑफ द स्टडी मटेरियल पेज नंबर टू ऑफ द स्टडी मटेरियल उस पे मैं थोड़ा सा पोर्शन रीड कर रहा हूं स्टूडेंट्स पेज नंबर टू अगर आपके पास जीएसटी का स्टडी मटेरियल है तो आप उसको नोट डाउन कर लें और अगर अभी आप देख पा रहे हैं तो आप उसको ओपन कर सकते हैं उसमें है टैक्सेबिलिटी टॉपिक है टैक्सेबिलिटी ऑफ रेमेंडेशन पेड टू डायरेक्टर्स उसमें इसके दो पॉइंट बनाए हुए स्टूडेंट्स एक तो सर्विस प्रोवाइडेड बाय द इंडिपेंडेंट डायरेक्टर्स और एक एज इन एज एन एम्प्लॉय अगर डायरेक्टर स्टूडेंट्स एज एन एम्प्लॉय सर्विसेज दे रहा है तो आपको मालूम है वो उसकी एग्जम्शन है उसकी सॉरी इट इज कवर्ड अंडर शेड्यूल थ्री नेगेटिव लिस्ट के अंदर कवर्ड है लेकिन आप उसमें सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट ये होता है स्टूडेंट्स कि क्या डायरेक्टर का डायरेक्टर को जो हम रिमोनरेशन पे कर रहे हैं कंपनी जो डायरेक्टर को रिमोनरेशन पे कर रही है क्या 192 में क्या 192 सेक्शन ऑफ द इनकम टैक्स एक्ट क्या उसमें टीडीएस डिडक्ट हो रहा है उसका तो दिस इज द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टेस्ट डायरेक्टर रिमोनरेशन जो उसकी सैलरी में से अगर टीडीएस उसमें डिडक्ट हो रहा है तो इट इज नॉट ए सप्लाई एज पर शेड्यूल थ्री नेगेटिव लिस्ट तो ये नेगेटिव लिस्ट में है शेड्यूल थ्री की डायरेक्टर रेमेंडेशन मतलब सैलरी टू एम्प्लॉई अगर वो एम्प्लॉय का टेस्ट फुलफिल कर रहा है तो अगर डायरेक्टर एम्प्लॉय होने का टेस्ट फुलफिल कर रहा है तो फिर ये नेगेटिव लिस्ट में कवर हो जाएगा और बाकी जितनी भी सर्विसेज इंडिपेंडेंट डायरेक्टर है तो इंडिपेंडेंट डायरेक्टर एम्प्लॉय नहीं होता ये स्टडी मेटेरियल में बात क्लियरली लिखी हुई है अगर आप देखोगे तो तो सिटिंग फीस उसे पे हो रही है स्टूडेंट दिस इज अदर देन सैलरी तो सिटिंग फीस डायरेक्टर को अगर पे हो रही है तो उस पे आप रिवर्स चार्ज के अंदर आपको मालूम है कि उसमें रिवर्स चार्ज के अंदर कंपनी को रिवर्स चार्ज सबको मालूम है क्या होता है तो जीएसटी क्या ऑप्शन है हमारे पास आप देख सकते हो जीएसटी शेल बी पेबल बाई ल्यूमिनस लिमिटेड अंडर रिवर्स चार्ज मैकेनिज्म तो फॉरवर्ड चार्ज में नहीं होता स्टूडेंट ये रिवर्स चार्ज यहां पे लग जाता है और उसका पेज नंबर आप आ, आप देखोगे तो आ, आपको मिल जाएगा उसके रिवर्स चार्ज के टॉपिक के अंदर भी वहां पे आपको मिलेगा जीएसटी शेल बी पेबल बाय लिमिनस लिमिटेड अंडर रिवर्स चार्ज मैकेनिज्म बी ऑप्शन क्या है स्टूडेंट्स बी ऑप्शन इज जीएसटी शेल बी पेबल बाय मिस्टर बलदेव ये तो फॉरवर्ड चार्ज में होता ही नहीं है सेटिंग फेज पे टू डायरेक्टर इज नॉट लाइबल टू जीएसटी तो सेटिंग फेज के ऊपर जीएसटी की लाइबिलिटी बनती है बिकॉज ही इज नॉट एन एम्प्लॉय 
in this case sitting remuneration he is getting is not as an employee sitting fees paid to the director of a company is treated as salary paid to the and is subject sitting fees kabhi bhi salary nahi hoti and is so ye d option waisi galat hai let me uh, mr ashish rajwani has written option a option a option a is correct very good ashish to gst aap dekh rahe ho kaise question wahan pe frame karke aapko matlab pure jab tak aapko study material aapne acche se nahi study kiya hua tab tak aap answer nahi kar paoge तो जीएसटी शेल बी पेबल बाय लिमिनेस लिमिटेड अंडर रिवर्स चार्ज मैकेनिज्म एस पर रिवर्स चार्ज नोटिफिकेशन टैक्स ऑन सर्विसेज सप्लाइड बाय डायरेक्टर ऑफ ए कंपनी बॉडी कॉर्पोरेट टू द सेट कंपनी लोकेटेड इन द टैक्स टेबल इज पेबल अंडर रिवर्स चार्ज हेंस इन द प्रेजेंट केस द सिटिंग फीस अमाउंट टू अमाउंटिंग टू 35000 पेबल टू मिस्टर बलदेव इज लायबल टू जीएसटी अंडर रिवर्स चार्ज एंड दिस रेसिपिएंट इज लायबल टू पे जीएसटी ऑन द सेम सो आप देख रहे हो कितनी बारीकी से कितनी माइन्यूटली क्वेश्चन फ्रेम किए गए हैं स्टूडेंट्स तो इसलिए मैं आपको बार बार एक ही बात समझा रहा हूं कि कंसेप्चुअल नॉलेज आप अपने स्ट्रांग रखिएगा मोर ओवर स्टूडेंट्स अभी जैसे क्वेरीज का आंसर हम लोग दे रहे हैं आपको इफ इवन आफ्टर द सेशन इज ओवर इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरी रिलेटेड टू दिस पेपर तो यू कैन कंटेक्ट मी ओवर माई मोबाइल इवन आई विल शेयर माई मोबाइल नंबर ऑल्सो तो आप मेरे मोबाइल नंबर पे भी मेघा मैडम आप मेरा मोबाइल नंबर कहीं पे भी लिख दो यहीं पे लिख दो बेशक तो आप स्टूडेंट्स मेरे मोबाइल पे भी मुझे नाइन फोर डबल सिक्स सेवन स्टूडेंट्स मेरा मोबाइल नंबर आप नोट कर लीजिए नाइन फोर डबल सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टू नाइन एट एट नाइन टू नाइन एट नाइन फोर डबल सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टू नाइन एट स्टूडेंट्स ये मेरा मोबाइल नंबर है स्टूडेंट आप आईबीएस पेपर सिक्स की कोई भी क्वेरी इवन आफ्टर द सेशन इज ओवर आपको माइंड में कोई कई क्वेश्चन आएंगे स्टूडेंट्स तैयारी कैसे करें ये वो जो भी वर्ड्स वो एवर क्वेश्चन आर देयर कोई पर्टिकुलर फैकल्टी से रिलेटेड भी क्वेश्चन तो मैं बात करवा दूंगा अगर आपका कोई इनकम टैक्स या कोई किसी भी फैकल्टी का क्वेश्चन भी होगा आई से रिलेटेड होगा तो भी मैं आंसर कर दूंगा स्टूडेंट्स लेकिन आप मेरा मोबाइल नंबर नोट कर लो और आफ्टर द सेशन इज ओवर तो भी आप मुझे कॉल कर सकते हैं अगर मैं फोन नहीं उठाता कभी मीटिंग में या इधर उधर तो मैं कॉल बैक अपने स्टूडेंट्स को जरूर करता हूं प्लीज मेक इट ए पॉइंट आप मोबाइल नंबर क्योंकि बिकॉज अगर अदर मीन से आपको आंसर नहीं मिल रहा तो आप डायरेक्टली मुझे कॉल करके सिंपली आपकी क्वेरी आंसर हो जाएगी तो स्टूडेंट्स अभी हम डिस्क्रिप्टिव क्वेश्चन पे चल रहे हैं क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव Whether the retiring directors shall be deemed to have been reappointed at the adjourned meeting, and or its five ki dekho three parts. Abhi kisi student ne pocha tha questions kaise aayenge? To questions aapke samne hai dekho. Yes, Mega Madam. Yes, sir. Hmm. Sir, the question, uh, this question is uh, based on retiring or retiring directors, reappointment, rotational directors. So we have to go to the case study. We will read the facts again. So here is the related. Uh, paragraph the company has 10 directors on its board board of directors aapko pata hai composition you all must know that what is the composition three of the directors have retired by rotation at the annual general meeting conducted recently the place of retiring directors it's not so filled up and the meeting has also not expressly resolved not to fill the vacancy since the agm since the agm could not complete the said business it was adjourned to the same day in the next week at the same time and place at this adjourn meeting also the place of retiring directors could not be filled up and the meeting has also not expressly resolved not to fill the vacancy so if we look at the question this question is based on section 152 subsection 6 and subsection 7 rotational directors what is the rotational directors concept the uh, reason behind incorporation of this rotational of directors it means that every annual general meeting some directors are liable to retire by rotation ki why this provision has been incorporated because the board of directors cannot control their composition on their own so this power has been given to the annual general meeting i also previously in the previously mcq also i have told you the general meeting is ke liye hoti hai for shareholders so at the every general meeting at the every annual general meeting two third 
of the total number of directors shall be liable to retire by rotation. Okay. For example, if we take that seven directors are there. Okay. Total, uh, we can take that nine directors are there in a company. Okay. So, अगर हम पढ़ेंगे वॉट इज द टोटल नंबर ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स हमें टोटल नंबर के लिए हमें सर्टेन डायरेक्टर्स विच आर नॉन रोटेशनल लाइक योर इंडिपेंडेंट डायरेक्टर लाइक योर नॉमिनी डायरेक्टर वी हैव टू रिमूव दैट डायरेक्टर्स आउट ऑफ दिस कॉम्पोजिशन वी आर टेकिंग एन एग्जाम्पल दैट द देर आर नाइन डायरेक्टर्स इन अ कंपनी आउट ऑफ दैट नाइन डायरेक्टर्स वन इज इंडिपेंडेंट एंड वन इज नॉमिनी सो Total number of directors for this section will be seven. So, what is retirement by rotation? We have to take not less than two third of this figure seven. So, if we come out, this total number of directors has to retire by rotation. मतलब अगर seven directors हैं, तो उसमें से two third directors will be liable to retire by rotation. They can be replaced. In, in instead of these directors the someone new directors will be incorporated will be placed in the annual general meeting if we look at the calculation point of view we can here we can see that total calculation will be 4.7 of this but what the what the section says should not be not less than So, हमारा फोर पॉइंट सेवन से कम नहीं होना चाहिए इट शुड नॉट बी लेस देन फोर पॉइंट सेवन सो वॉट वी विल डू वी विल इंक्रीज दिस फिगर टू फाइव क्योंकि फोर पॉइंट सेवन को नंबर ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स को हम कैसे कैलकुलेट करेंगे सो so, हमारे आउट ऑफ सेवन इन द इन जनरल एनुअल जनरल मीटिंग फाइव डायरेक्टर्स विल बी लाइबल टू रिटायर बाय रोटेशन अब हमारा फर्दर सेक्शन क्या कहता है कि हमने लाइबल देख लिया बट एक्चुअली रिटायर हाउ मेनी डायरेक्टर्स विल बी रिटायर एट द एजीएम दैट विल बी वन थर्ड ओके अगर अब हम नाउ वी विल टेक फाइव और वन थर्ड ऑफ फाइव देन इट विल कम्स टू वन पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन तो व्हाट द सेक्शन स्पेसिफाइज हेयर इन दैट सेक्शन इट इज सेट दैट नॉट लेस देन वन टू थर्ड बट हेयर इट से नियरेस्ट टू वन थर्ड नियरेस्ट टू वन थर्ड मीन्स आपने अपने मैथ्स में यू हैव रेड दैट नियरेस्ट का कॉन्सेप्ट इफ इट इज फिफ्टी पॉइंट फाइव और मोर देन दैट देन वी विल इंक्रीज द नंबर इफ इट इज बिलो पॉइंट फाइव देन वी विल रिड्यूस द नंबर हेयर द नंबर इज वन पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन इट इज मोर देन पॉइंट फाइव सो वॉट विल यू डू वी विल हेयर इंक्रीज द लाइबल रोटेशन ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स लाइबल टू टू so out of 9 we have to see the calculation 9 may say we have to reduce the non rotational directors then up from the ro uh, rotational directors we have to take out 2/3 not less than 2/3 concept is applies here then out of 2/3 we will apply the 1/3 and that is nearest to 1/3 it can be less also it can be on the higher side also so if we look at the provisions of this section Here the company has ten directors on its board. Three of the directors have retired at the annual general meeting conduct recently. The place of retiring directors is not so filled up. ठीक है one third हमने निकाल लिया पहले two third करा फिर one third करा. The meeting has also not expressed resolve not to fill the vacancy. अब हमारा ये concept क्यों आया है ताकि shareholders के पास if the retiring or de retiring directors are not favorable. the shareholders are not in favor of these retiring directors so they can replace the retiring directors so at the uh, at the agm these retiring directors can be placed also or if the shareholders are of the view that they want to replace them so they can replace also so meeting has also expressed resolve not to fill the vacancy since the agm could not complete the said business now what happened the agm provisions are covered section 96 if the agm could not complete the agm has not concluded it was adjourned to the same day in the next week adjourned the meaning shifted at the 
same time and place at this adjourned meeting also the place of retiring directors could not be filled up because adjourned meeting is the same meeting as of the original meeting but at the adjourned meeting also if the place of retiring could not be filled up the meeting has not expressly resolved ab is case mein kya hoga so we will look at the provisions of section this yes in accordance with the provisions of companies act 15278a which provides that if with the agm at which a director retires and the vacancy is not filled up the meeting will adjourn to the next week same time and if it's a public holiday then next succeeding day which is not a public holiday it is stated in their provisions further 15278b kya kehta hai further provides that if at the adjourned meeting also the place of retiring director is not filled up and the meeting has also not expressed resolved agar agm ke andar or in the adjourned meeting ke andar this vacancy has not filled up then what will be the case then the retiring director shall be deemed to have been reappointed at the adjourned meeting okay but what happens if some other director is appointed or some resolution has put forward for replacement then in that case the retiring auditor retiring directors shall not be deemed to be director but in case no resolution has passed for the other directors and the meeting is not the uh, said item has not been discussed then the retiring director shall be deemed to have been reappointed okay so if the circumstances we can see that in the first case applying the above provisions where the retiring directors shall be deemed to have been appointed because the at the agm also the resolution uh, was not completed in the adjourned meeting also the upon this case has not been discussed so in case the original meeting and at the adjourned meeting these items has not been discussed then the retiring auditors retiring directors shall be deemed to have been reappointed second question kya tha hamara second question was that that uh, if the what will be your answer in case at the urgent meeting the resolution for reappointment of these directors were lost matlab means ki uh, lost means ki in directors who uh, who are the, our retiring auditors they retiring directors they will not be appointed so what will be the answer then in the second case where the resolution for the reappointment of the retiring auditors were lost the retiring director shall not be deemed to have been reappointed deemed deemed concept hamara kab aayega when will the deemed concept deemed concept applies only where there are there is no resolution for the replacement of the retiring directors but if there is the resolution for retiring directors is lost or some other person is requested is has been come notice has come for their replacement then the deemed provision will not apply now moving to uh, last part of this question whether such directors can continue in case the directors do not call the agm yes a director maybe does not want that he is retired so what wo kya karenge sometimes the agm is not held एजीएम वो करते ही नहीं है एजीएम दे डू नॉट कंडक्ट द एजीएम विद इन द प्रिस्क्राइब टाइम लिमिट 96 में हमारा पता है कि क्लोज ऑफ द फाइनेंशियल ईयर के विद इन सिक्स मंथ्स दे हैव टू कंडक्ट अ एनुअल जनरल मीटिंग एन एक्सटेंशन ऑन स्पेशल रिक्वेस्ट द एक्सटेंशन इज आल्सो प्रोवाइडेड बाय आरओसी बट व्हाट विल बी द केस अब रिटायरिंग और रिटायरिंग डायरेक्टर्स का क्या होगा इन दैट केस 152 सेज दैट वन थर्ड ऑफ द रोटेशनल डायरेक्टर शैल रिटायर एट एवरी एजीएम ओके एंड डीम्ड कॉन्सेप्ट हमने देख लिया कि 96 क्या कहते हैं 96 हमारा कब ड्यू होती है 96 आपका सेक्शन 96 कहता है कि एजीएम यू हैव टू कंडक्ट एन एजीएम एंड इन केस एजीएम इज नॉट हेल्ड ऑन द डेट द टर्म ऑफ रिटायरिंग ऑडिटर एंड्स ऑन द लास्ट डेट अब हम मुझे ये बताइए आपका क्लोज ऑफ द फाइनेंशियल ईयर इज थर्टी मार्च ओके तो कब तक हमें एजीएम कंडक्ट करनी चाहिए विद इन सिक्स मंथ दैट इज थर्टी एथ सेप्टेम्बर ऑफ द सेम ईयर अगर थर्टी एथ सेप्टेम्बर तक कंपनी ने कंपनी हैज नॉट कंडक्टेड एन एजीएम तो उस केस में क्या होगा उन दैट केस द डायरेक्टर्स एंड्स ऑन दिस लास्ट डेट एंड इट कैन नॉट बी एक्सटेंडेड टिल द न्यू डेट वेन द एजीएम शेल बी हेल्ड 
calling of AGM is the duty and responsibility of directors. So it is the fault and for their choice and as long. So to call the AGM on its due date cannot take advantage of their own fault and by that means cannot extend their own continuance. So in that case, the retiring auditors are not, say, uh, they cannot be reappointed. If the AGM is not held by 30th September, that does not mean the retiring auditors will continue. Okay, because it is the duty of the directors, it is the duty of the company to conduct the AGM. And if the AGM is not held, then the retiring auditors will vacate their office and some other directors will be appointed at their place. So this is the overall provision relating to section 152.7 and 152.6. This is covered under your chapter 1 of your set A self-paced module appointment and qualification of directors. So I am telling you once again that starting chapters of these of our study material are very crucial because lay, they lay the foundation you should know aapko pata hona chahiye what are the directors who is kmp what are the qualifications disqualifications so these three chapters will help you in all in coming chapters in all other uh, subjects also you know in your uh, coming projects like you are doing as a consultant or you are doing practice you are being as a chart chartered accountant in some company so first three chapters lays the foundation for your overall career so in chapters ko achhi tarah padhiye fir aapke aage ke chapters jaise inspection ho gaya operation mismanagement then winding up and your nclt then three uh, sebi act is there sebi mein there we have introduced four regulations lodr and your uh, insider trading and two other regulations are there and three acts are there fema hcr and ibs ibc so all these related chapters these chapters we have covered in two modules so, ye aapko bahut achhi tarah padhna hai we know that this has been shifted to from core to set a but it is also compulsory subject and it is very necessary for all of you for the professional development aur ek aur jo mega madam ek aur baat hai isme yes. ki paper 6 jo aapka core paper hai compulsory hmm. paper hai yes uske uska to syllabus hai ye yes usme to itne related question pucha hi ja sakta hai set a bhi set b bhi to isliye students aap ek baar thorough understanding जो सेट ए और सेट बी के पेपर्स हैं इनकी थॉरो अंडरस्टैंडिंग करके आप तभी आप पेपर 6 को हैंडल कर पाओगे क्योंकि बिकॉज़ कांसेप्ट uh, इसमें टोटल एप्लीकेशन बेस्ड सारा काम है आप देख रहे हो कितनी बारीकी से कितनी डीपली क्वेश्चंस पूछे जा रहे हैं तो आप तभी आंसर कर पाओगे जब आप थॉरो हो एक सब्जेक्ट से yes. तो ये मैं बार-बार एक बार फिर स्ट्रेस दे रहा हूं और अभी लास्ट क्वेश्चन इसका हमारा बैलेंस है और बिकॉज़ लास्ट वन क्वेश्चन हैज ऑलरेडी बीन सेंडेड क्वेश्चन नंबर 7 इज ऑलरेडी गॉन एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर 6 इज पेंडिंग वेदर द मैनेजमेंट्स अंडरस्टैंडिंग रिलेटेड टू ट्रांसफर ऑफ सोलर पैनल टू कंपनीज रिटेल शोरूम्स अब देखो कंपनीज रिटेल शोरूम्स करेक्ट इन व्यू ऑफ जीएसटी लॉ ये सिंपल क्वेश्चन है स्टूडेंट्स इसमें दो पार्ट्स हैं सिक्स में और दूसरे पार्ट में डिफरेंट क्वेश्चन पूछा गया है वो प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई इन केस ऑफ सर्विसेज प्रोक्योर्ड फ्रॉम अटॉर्नी अटॉर्नी ये आउटसाइड इंडिया था अटॉर्नी दुबई में एंड सजेस्ट इफ द कंपनी इज रिक्वायर्ड टू पेटे अंडर रिवर्स चार्ज तो ये रिवर्स चार्ज में ही होता है अटॉर्नी का आपको पता है अगर बाहर से सर्विस ली गई है तो दोनों पार्ट्स के लिए मैं पहले आपको केस स्टडी बताता हूं कि कहां पे पहले फर्स्ट पार्ट द लास्ट पैरा ऑफ द केस स्टडी इस पे उसने फर्स्ट पार्ट पूछा द कंपनी हैज इट्स रिटेल शोरूम्स इन पटियाला एंड दिल्ली एंड फैक्ट्री एट लुधियाना तो फैक्ट्री लुधियाना में है शोरूम्स पटियाला और दिल्ली में स्टूडेंट्स ड्यूरिंग फाइनेंशियल ईयर द कंपनी हैज मैन्युफैक्चरड 150 दिस 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 और फैक्ट्री इट्स फैक्ट्री नेचुरली मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इज गोइंग टू बी एट फैक्ट्री ओनली मैनेजमेंट डिसाइडेड टू ट्रांसफर हाफ ऑफ द यूनिट्स द मैनेजमेंट ट्रांसफर कर रही है from factory to uh, patiala showroom and second half to its on from factory to its delhi showroom for sale there from wahan par ja ke fir sell karengi the factory and the four said retail showroom are registered under gst sabhi tino cheeze registered under gst in states where they are located 
कंपनी हैज ऑब्टेन सेपरेट रजिस्ट्रेशन अंडर जीएसटी फॉर लुधियाना फैक्ट्री इन पटियाला शोरूम सेपरेट रजिस्ट्रेशन है तो इसमें स्टूडेंट्स द मैनेजमेंट ऑफ द कंपनी अंडरस्टैंड दैट सच ट्रांसफर शैल नॉट बी कंसीडर्ड एज सप्लाई बिकॉज देयर इज नो कंसीडरेशन बिकॉज सच ट्रांसफर आर विदाउट एनी कंसीडरेशन स्टूडेंट्स जीएसटी सेक्शन सेवन सब सेक्शन वन क्लॉज ए जो कि सप्लाई को डिफाइन करता है ऑल सप्लाई इंक्लूड्स ऑल फॉर्म्स ऑफ सप्लाई ऑफ गुड्स और सर्विसेज और बोथ सच एज सेल ट्रांसफर बार्टर एक्सचेंज लाइसेंस रेंटल लीज डिस्पोजल मेड और एग्री टू बी मेड फॉर ए कंसिडरेशन बाय पर्सन इन द कोर्स और फर्दर ऑफ बिजनेस तो दो बड़े इंपॉर्टेंट पिलर हैं स्टूडेंट्स इस डेफिनेशन के अंदर एक तो कंसिडरेशन वन इज कंसिडरेशन एंड सेकेंड इज इन द कोर्स और फर्दर ऑफ बिजनेस सो कंसिडरेशन की जो एक्सेप्शन है स्टूडेंट्स सेक्शन सेवन वन प्लस सी के अंदर डाली गई है एक्टिविटीज स्पेसिफाइड इन शेड्यूल वन एक्टिविटीज विदाउट कंसिडरेशन शेड्यूल वन एक्टिविटीज मेड और एग्री टू मेड विद इवन विद विदाउट कंसिडरेशन इट विल कॉन्स्टिट्यूट है सप्लाई इट विल बी कंसिडर्ड है supply so schedule 1 ke andar kitne paragraph students char paragraph hai there are four paragraphs in schedule 1 to iska first part main answer kar raha hu aapko dekho to isme second para jo hai schedule 1 ka us pe ye question based hai answer main aapko dikhata hu stock transfer aur branch transfer to schedule 1 सेकेंड पैरा इट इज ए कॉमन प्रैक्टिस इन बिजनेस दैट वन ब्रांच सप्लाई तो आप देख रहे हो कि यहां पे इवन इफ देर इज नो कंसिडरेशन स्टिल इट इट विल बी कंसिडर्ड एज सप्लाई बिकॉज बिकॉज दिस इज एक्सेप्शन टू दैट पिलर आई सेट की कंसिडरेशन की यहां पे एक्सेप्शन है कि ब्रांच ट्रांसफर के अंदर स्टॉक ट्रांसफर के अंदर तो यहां पर क्या स्टूडेंट्स वट हैपन दिस There are separate registrations, but PAN number is one. So, इसे हम यहाँ पे distinct persons. These are called distinct persons. So, distinct persons यहाँ पे लुधियाना factory, Patiala showroom and Delhi showroom. Whatever transfer is uh, uh, being made, this will be considered as supply because it is covered in the exception. exception is and this is section 71 c of the gst act it is a common practice in business that one branch supplies uh, services to another branch of the same entity without consideration similarly goods are transferred among different units of same entity free of cost for instance for instance distribution of samples manufactured in a factory to different branches or transfer of goods from factory to depot शोरूम फॉर सेल देर फ्रॉम सो ये कॉमन प्रैक्टिस होती है स्टूडेंट्स कंपनी में दीज ट्रांजेक्शन सेल्फ सप्लाईज तो अंडर जीएसटी दीज ट्रांजेक्शन अंडरटेकन इवन विदाउट कंसिडरेशन इवन विदाउट कंसिडरेशन इवन विदाउट कंसिडरेशन विल ऑल्सो क्वालिफाई ए सप्लाई प्रोवाइडेड द ट्रांसफर of goods or services is between different locations of the same legal entity as these are transaction between distinct persons or establishment of distinct person to isme maine aapko bataya ki separate registration or under a single pair permanent account number second part students to deal karta so therefore it is supply basically at conclusion mein hi likha hua hai ki it will constitute as supply service of attorney taken by luminous limited इन द गिवन केस सर्विस प्रोवाइडर इज आउटसाइड इंडिया अब देखो सेक्शन ट्वेल्व कब लगता था सेक्शन ट्वेल्व ऑफ द आई जी एस टी एक्ट इट बिकम्स एप्लीकेबल वेन द रेसिपियंट ऑफ द सर्विस एंड सर्विस प्रोवाइडर बोथ आर इन इंडिया एंड वेन वन ऑफ दम इज आउटसाइड इंडिया यहां पर सर्विस प्रोवाइडर इज आउटसाइड इंडिया देन सेक्शन थर्टीन बिकम्स एप्लीकेबल तो दस द प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई सिंस इन द गिवन केस सर्विस प्रोवाइडर इज आउटसाइड इंडिया and service recipient is based in india so when one of the persons a service provider or service uh, recipient any one is if uh, outside india then section instead of section 12 section 13 becomes applicable 
So since the given service does not get covered under any of the specific provisions of the section 13, the place of supply will be governed by general rules. That is place of supply of service will be location of the recipient of the, this is the general rule, which is in, in this case is Delhi. Further, the given case is import of service in terms of section 211 of the I, uh, clause 11 of section 2 of the IGSTX. As the supplier of services is located outside India, recipient of service is located in India and the place of supply is in India. Since the services are imported for a consideration from an unrelated person, the same tantamount to supply in terms of section 71B care students. Import of service for a consideration whether or not in the course or furtherance of business. Dekho, kitne sare sections a question ke andar involved hai. Aap dekh rahe ho kitni bari ki te question pucha gaya. To section 71B ke students, import of services, service ke baat ho rahi hai. Import of service for a consideration whether or not. Usme, that is exception to section 71 clause a. Uh, whether or not in the course or furtherance of business. So if we have a 71B or 71C care student, 71C is Schedule 1 activities. Without Even if without consideration, still it, it is considered as supply. So as per, or if we have a reverse charge, as per notification, this, this, this integrated. If a service is supplied by a person located in a non-taxable territory to a person located in taxable territory, other than non-taxable online recipient, the tax is payable on reverse charge basis. So, you can see students ki kitne usne, uh, minutely question and I will show you the question. Ki determine the place of supply in case of services procured from attorney by limines if the company is required to pay tax under reverse charge on such transactions. So, you can see the whole case study we finished kiye, complete kiye with <laughs> all the concepts and provisions. ये आपका अटॉर्नी वाला पॉइंट यहां पर था ये ये ल्यूमिनस लिमिटेड इज बेस्ड इन दिल्ली तो सर्विस रेसिपिएंट इज इन दिल्ली और अटॉर्नी ही इज इन दुबई तो वन ऑफ द पार्टीज इज रेसिपिएंट और सर्विस प्रोवाइडर वन इफ वन ऑफ देम इज इन आउटसाइड इंडिया तो सेक्शन 13 बिकम्स एप्लीकेबल तो दिस इज द आईडिया बिहाइंड ये आपको मैं पेज नंबर बता देता हूं स्टडी मटेरियल का आप एक बार डिटेल में पढ़ लेना इसको तो नेक्स्ट लेक्चर में अगर कोई इसमें डाउट होगा तो मैं ले लूँगा पेज नंबर 3.58 आप मॉड्यूल वन पेज नंबर 3.58 पे आपको इससे रिलेटेड पूरा मैटर मिलेगा ये स्टूडेंट्स कोई जनरल क्वेरीज अगर आपकी हैं या स्पेसिफिक क्वेरीज हैं तो मिस्टर प्रशांत इस सेइंग कि � Sir, we can upload this case study now. Huh? After this, we will upload this case study on the portal. You can refer this case study. Uh, now, one student is saying, can I know from when self-paced online exam would be held? Also, more details on Help it. Help madam has already come. Uh, Sir, self-paced online examinations, I think announcement will be madam has already joined and she will answer uh, this question. Self-paced. Okay. So, self for students, please, uh, for self-paced noted here, conducting the examinations of self-paced, examination department will be doing that. And that examination department will issue a separate notification for that. So, regular be in touch with the institute website. And as and when they plan for that, they'll uh, issue a notification for that. Okay. Whether we uh, need to refer old syllabus paper number 6F? No. You're not required to refer old uh, paper because it was uh, the case studies which were for 6F was based on old syllabus also. Now in many core subjects, syllabus has undergone change like for auditing, for your advanced financial management, syllabus has undergone some change. So if you are referring old material, you'll get confused. And unnecessary, you'll be uh, studying what is not required and you may be leaving something which is required. So it is advisable not to refer new uh, old course, uh, paper 6F elective wala case studies. Whatever we, we can revise and make it, we are doing that. So over the period, we'll be adding more case studies. Right now, 15 are already web hosted. And beyond that, we'll be giving in the <laughs> Sorry, in the coming uh, student center, we'll be giving three more case studies. In the coming RTP relevant for May 2024, we'll be giving few case studies. So that will add to your question, uh, case study bank and further we'll be also adding in the on the website also. 
वॉट इज दस फोर्टी फोर केस तरी नो नो प्लीज डोंट रेफर दैट अच्छा नेक्स्ट मैम शेल प्लेस मॉड्यूल्स फॉर सी स्टडी मटेरियल ऑफ सेल्फ पेस नेम ऑफ द स्टूडेंट मैडम एक बार अच्छा मिस्टर शंकर मिस्टर शंकर आई इज आस्किंग दैट मैम बट सेल्फ सेल्फ पेस मॉड्यूल्स फॉर मे 24 विल बी आफ्टर राइटिंग फाइनल एग्जाम्स राइट मैम सी स्टडी मटेरियल्स ऑफ सेल्फ पेस मॉड्यूल सेट ए एंड सेट बी व्हिच इज रिलेवेंट फॉर दिस पेपर हैज ऑलरेडी बीन वेब होस्टेड यू कैन स्टार्ट योर प्रिपरेशन फॉर दिस पेपर फ्रॉम दोस कंटेंट बट एग्जामिनेशन फॉर सेपरेटली सेपरेट एग्जामिनेशन फॉर सेट ए एंड सेट बी विल बी conducted by examination department in case you wish to do it after core for uh, core paper examinations you can do one time relaxation for may 2024 is has been provided so you are allowed to in fact it is advisable to do it after uh, may 2024 but before declaration of result or before applying for this but right now you have to focus on this paper and for this paper you have to study the content of set a and set b study material of which has already been web hosted okay please answer uh, one question was there just uh, i wanted to other it was raised some back before student ka naam bol dena madam ha ha okay mansa was asking can we refer november 2014 oh, yeah. recorded yeah. lectures that you have take, completed okay. this one was also how yes. do i approach group one subjects now okay uh, then meha just please uh, students will be just helping you to the bus knowledge portal where saransh has been uh, placed and we are trying to come out with a separate tab uh, of for saransh but time being it is uh, uh, placed under subject wise capsules okay. we are just showing you will be also showing you mcq practice portal for different subjects so that when you are preparing for this paper you have to be well versed with these uh, core paper subjects for practice of core papers case scenarios have been uh, well hosted for your practice in, in every subjects in M uh, under B uh, mcq practice portal that we also be showing to you through this uh, uh, on screen so that you can understand where to go and what to study and what to practice just hold down students let me just connect to you institute's website first we'll be showing you where saransh has been placed in the bus knowledge portal bus live me bus knowledge portal we want to go to bus knowledge portal bus live learning yes like dot i said that already through institute site also we can come here we if we go to institute site we'll go to students from students we can come to bus knowledge portal with when bus knowledge portal now if you see subject wise capsule you are able to see the screen no subject wise capsule there you are finding foundation intermediate finals and saransh when we click saransh we find there are 10 different saransh for different subjects have been uploaded for this paper you have to refer saransh of indian accounting standard don't refer saransh of accounting standard because that is the syllabus of your intermediate so no need to refer that however saransh of indian accounting yes. standard is relevant for this paper besides that recently we have yes. come up with direct, direct tax and indirect tax laws uh, mm -hmm. saransh that is applicable to you auditing Audit. saransh th this is also applicable to you and we are coming with a revised version of auditing saransh cost uh, this strategic is cost. strategic cost management performance evaluation saransh that is also relevant to you mm -hmm. company law saransh is relevant to you so these are things which you are which are which are relevant for you and you can refer this for for your preparation for this particular paper besides that we would also like to log in once again but log in kiya na to practice easily na up it okay we are logging to the see if you find on bus knowledge portal there is a login run where you have to log in with your registration number your date of birth you will find this particular uh, window will be open and in this window you will find mcq practice portal this window is where mcqs are uploaded for every subject just open that it's not open in some proxy 
ಅಚ್ಛಾ with one mcq or there can be a scenario which may lead to number of mcq say 3 to 5 or 3 to 6 mcqs that may be asked in your examination so for that practice you'll find uh, start the so practice fun. just start the practice and see there are two types of practice one is uh, go back say there are two types of mcqs mcq assessment and case scenario assessment so case scenario assessments may be of more help to you for this paper but mcq assessment which is there this is conceptual mcqs which are placed this is for evaluating your your understanding of particular subject and particular topic so it is always advisable first to go with mcq assessment and then to go with case scenario based assessments so this both will help you in preparing for individual papers of final paper as well as for this particular paper integrated business solution so this also has to be done with respect to your sub individual subjects uh, they are uh, in your, your mobius mobile app ask your query post, uh, tab yes. is there where you can raise your queries respect to with respect to that particular paper along with there are subject specific mail id is also where you can place your queries and you can ask uh, just clear your doubts in case you have any other uh, query you may please ask okay some queries we have received just let me see mcq practice wala will it be available in, as question bank for new slavers as a printed or soft copy format as book subject wise no. see this is a portal this is online practice portal which we have given and the benefit of this portal is that till the time you are not able to answer it accurately it will again and again come back to you so it will make you sure that you are now giving correct answer of this particular mcq or particular case scenario so it will always be in the form of online portal it is it is not a booklet it is an online portal with have it with certain features for your benefit so it will be in the form of portal only we are not going to come with the printed version of this okay and next question was what is the difference between subject wise tab in capsules and saransh okay subject wise tab in see saransh is not only meant for students it is meant for anybody any person who wants to refer it maybe members also saransh they can refer members can also refer the refer saransh so capsules are customized for particular topic they may not cover the entire syllabus of that particular subject but saransh is covering the entire syllabus this is the one difference the different reader may be anyone but uh, it is applicable to you all for your we have made it in such a manner that students may find it uh, helpful for easy learning for easy retention for uh, understanding for overall helicopter view you can get from saransh so it is in that way different okay today's class was very useful thank you for all faculty members most welcome students <laughs> if you are being benefited with this class we are really helpful we again we'll be uh, in the coming session we are also conducting two more sessions in this month and later on in every month we'll be conducting few classes on uh, the, for this paper right now next session will be on 21st and then after that on 28th 28th so on 21st and 28th again we'll be coming for this ib case studies they will be discussing another few another case studies uh, our saransh is completely amended for may 2024 in sub uh, subjects it is applicable for your may 24 for examination like indian accounting standard saransh is applicable for may 2024 examination are you applicable mostly most every, most every every syllabus every saransh which is i updated. told you which i told you is applicable see like accounting standard saransh it is meant for uh, members and also for intermediate students that is not meant for you for final paper so you have to check out ki which saransh you have to refer for which paper okay okay ma'am let me see any other query is there okay i think we have referred all the uh, we have answered all the queries uh, in case you have few more queries or later on you come out with some doubts you can uh, place your queries to the subject specific uh, whatever tab is there or in your bus mobile app ask your query version okay sir has given the, his number also ah. so students can contact or that number also okay so all the best dear students with this word thank you very much students thank you very much by this we are closing the session all the very best all the best students 
wish you all the success which you can have and i hope this uh, after this session you won't find this paper to be a pain area and you'll find it that it is now easy and a scoring paper because you are having 40 mcq 40 percent mcqs for this paper with respect to other papers where there is 30 70 ratio this is having this paper is having 40 uh, 60 ratio and you are having now all the guidance materials which he, we have guided you saranj and lectures on lvc so please go through all these and you find that this paper is far better than other in terms of scoring okay students thank you